Um, you all know that if I wanted to, I could be the best League of Legends player in the world. I just, you know, I'm busy, I guess. But tonight I'm going to go to uh, Challenger for uh, my Leona support. Or I'll try. Die trying. I'm here at the Homie Quest, who is a fabulous League player and coach. We're going to be playing together. You know, you guys don't realize that I was Diamond. So... I don't even know how it, how does it work anymore after Diamond. What's what's next, Master? Or? If Master is Grandmaster and Challenger. Jeez, so Challenger is top two hundred still. Three hundred now. Mm. And then GM is the next uh, seven hundred players after that, and then Masters isn't like a specific number, but it's around like two thousand more players. It's mm -hmm. kind of shifted up a little bit. Mm. Oh, you looked at my runes? No. Or you looked at our team comp? Yeah, I'm looking at that. I think it's fine. The enemy team comp's pretty bad, so. Do I have 25 yeah, I viewers? Is that it? I'm going to flip out if that's true. I think there are like... Streams of like a burning log fire that get more uh, viewers than me. Yeah. Let me see. Oh, no, no. I have more viewers than that. Whew. What's up, Miz? Thanks for following. Thanks for joining, whatever. The, the Skrelliverse, I think it's called. going to make it to Challenger. I don't care what you guys say. Why League of Legends when Dota exists? Great question. Dota is an inferior game. I'm glad you asked. I, I don't know if I'd go that far. It's, less, pro good, it's less produced. And I need highly produced, sophisticated games uh, by large billion dollar companies. Team, to be honest, the League design team has been an absolute beat. Killing it the last few years. I love League of Legends. Who is this? Hello. Uh, um, uh. Hey, you're in it. Yeah. And anyone with the League role can talk in this channel, by the oh, way. That's funny. Not very many people have it in this server. Was, was that that 12 year old kid? I, I missed that kid. What was his name again? Jerry? Jerry! <laughs> so he doesn't funny. sound like that anymore. He's 18 now. He's a girl, man. Oh my god. Yeah. Chosen. Oh my god, you did not just feed. I think I was. Oh, okay. It's three sums. It's, uh... Okay, fine. It's good luck. It's good luck. It's three sums. It's okay, guys. This guy's name is really on point, huh? Yeah. Did you see that Riot Games said that Sam's uh, interest in League is damaging their brand? That's funny. How great is that? That's really funny. You cannot get to Challenger by yourself. You need a squad. How very prescient. I agree. Maybe even a team. Come 
on, come on, come on, let's go. There you go. Would have been first blood, too. Oh shit. Gain Karoo. You're F3, I'm F1. Is it the same for each of us? Oh, go on! Oh! <laughs> How does he do so little damage? You got him? That's always the thing that throws me off about playing in low elo. I think I'm just like super fucked off like a misplay. And then the, the enemy jungler just like shows on the map and somehow has like five less camps than me. And has just been like running around doing nothing like me. When did they change Nunu's yeah. ability to that snowball? Um, like three years ago? I was in the pokey. Yeah. Is there any lore of League of Legends that uh, one of the champs is from prison? I mean, there's a few champions that have been to prison and the lore of uh, Vi. Vi's a criminal? Yeah, Vi spent a bunch of time in prison. I mean, a lot of them are criminals, for sure. I think this is But de definitely Vi was in prison. Jinx is a criminal. Thanks. You want me to do something here? Um, Bait? Dive. Yeah, we could dive. She's really low. Good job. Nope. Oh, less good job. I think just don't touch those, it'll bounce back. It's still worth. That was worth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the wave's gonna bounce. Um, Senna's gonna lose less farm than the Samira, and having an assist creates value over Samira who only had a kill. True. We gotta kill and an assist. Someone says, invest in sunlight. The shutdown, the shutdown kinda sucks, but they have a bunch of dive champions, so Senna's gonna die at some point. Silas, aka 2 chains. Is Silas, uh... Silas? Silas. Are one of you guys streaming on... Are we going to stream it on Twitch? Twitch and YouTube. Yeah, he's streaming on Twitch and YouTube. And Rumble soon, which is like the best streaming one, I think. Is that, <laughs> is that like some crypto bro stream? No, dude, it's worse than crypto. Right, it's all right. <laughs> it's way worse than crypto bro. Yeah. Twitch let me back on in there. Grace. Mercy after five years of missing. I mean, how do you keep a guy banned for that long? You, know, you literally did 
wasted your time. Twitter doesn't feel that way. Oh, yank. I'm coming. Just try to run as much as you can. I think you're losing. And it shows a weird way. I hope the dad can clean that up. Nice. Is that two for one? Road to Challenger begins to die. Shkreli vows to hit the vaunted level of League of Legends to join the ranks of League Greats. Oh, he's stuck in the pit. Just kill him. Is he gonna flash out? Oh, okay. Yeah. What was that? Nunu can go jump over walls now? No, he took the plane. <laughs> he was out of the wall. That champion would be super broken if it could go over the walls. Oh my god, my guy just got trapped. I'm He's, coming uh, the No, oh, I got exhausted. Oh. I don't know why we focused, uh, we should have focused the ADC, right? Um, she's too high health from good killer and don't really do a lot of damage right now. The problem there was that Senna got caught. Yeah, that was bad. That was bad. Went to, the, the went to the choke point, yeah. Just didn't need to go the same way. I have five out of our seven, five assists on our seven kills. <laughs> Four assists at eight minutes. That's insane. No. I'm not Sam Bankman. Get that through your fucking head. Shout out to my cat, Trashy. My mascot. Do you think there's a probability they're going to suicide SBF in the Bahamas in the next few weeks? <laughs> People don't get suicided in prison. Stop. That, that whole thing is just a, like the Epstein thing. He killed himself. <laughs> Epstein killed himself. People don't get killed in prison by political operatives. This is nonsense. Going to prison is how you kill somebody politically. Like, as not, like it's worse in prison. It would have been so much easier to just like be like Jeffrey Epstein is a horrible person and he's clearly lying about these things that he says that I did. If you were somebody who. I mean, what about McAfee? died in custody. He killed himself. Some people killed kill themselves. Himself. He, he, he took it out. Some people kill themselves in prison because it's depressing and shitty and, you know, nobody wants to go to prison, especially if you have a long sentence. And, you know, it's, it's, it's not uncommon for people to kill themselves in front of a short sentence. So, like... You believe he killed himself even though he was under a suicide watch, though? Yes! What are the odds of that? What are the odds of that? People who kill themselves in prison or, or... Yeah, of course. Oh, come on. They're both so low. Why do people believe this nonsense conspiracy stuff? It's... It's... I... Uh, it's explained very easily explained, right? By the. I mean, it might not even be politically related that somebody would want to kill SBF and say they lost their grandma's life saving years. Well, I mean, people will spend their entire fortunes, their entire life, livelihood to avoid uh, prison. That's uh, pretty common. I guess people think it's odd because he was on suicide watch and then miraculously, like, um, he was taken off of it and then he just ended up killing himself. Wait, it's just how odd. How do you think prison, how do you think, how do you think prison works? Having been on suicide watch must lend more credibility to the idea that he killed himself. Yeah. Right? 
Exactly. Man, man considered likely to kill himself kills himself. Exactly. Oh. It's the least surprising thing. If the guy was on suicide watch, he was obviously contemplating it, or he told somebody he was considering it, and you know, he did it ultimately. You don't think he was a spy? No, oh, I don't think he was a spy. <laughs> what for who? <laughs> they think he, they say that he they made it. They. Yes, yes, look it up. This is all online. I have, no, I've, I've seen, seen, I've I've seen the... No, I've seen... Just okay. a quick, just a quick check. I've Did seen, you vote for yeah. Joe Biden in the last no. presidential election? I voted for Trump. Um, all right. I've seen but, the, uh, I've seen the, some of those conspiracies as well. So ultimately, yeah. again, I'm, I'm sort of a, a person that believes in reason and science and thinking through logical problems. Uh, yeah, critical thinking is a Yes, thing. there we go. That's it. And so Epstein, the, the strangest thing about Epstein that is true uh, is that nobody can really explain where he made money or how he made money. And so what I'm led to believe is, as a criminal, uh, he was an extortion artist. He was very good at... Um, extortion. Uh, he was able to con a lot of people out of a lot of money. And when I say con, I don't mean uh, like a fraudster con. I mean... I mean like a extortion artist cons. Because he was... Uh, Look at this guy, he's AFK. Kill him. He's like getting them in compromising situations. Exactly. So he was, he was extorting... That's extortion. Um, yeah. And he was extorting um, some very powerful people, principally business people, who could pay him quite a lot of money to not talk. Yeah, it's interesting to me is that all the evidence, all the videotapes and stuff that was in his various safes, it was all labeled from the FBI, like straight from whatever kind of they already did, already analyzed all of those. Why don't you guys collapse on him? Pictures, anything, whatever. I had to just wait for Senna. If I hadn't, he just gets stacks and all this stuff. Hey, wait. We, should, we could have gotten them. Anyway, uh, Epstein was an unusual figure in that regard. You know, it's very rare for somebody to try to extort high profile business people, but he seemed to do it successfully. He lived a long time, he had a, he had a taste of prison already. He was not a young man. Uh, for his, him to commit suicide was. Um, somewhat logical in that he was guilty. He was going to get life sentence. There's no other thing to do. I mean, what are you going to do? Fight it? So for him, he also was able to uh, give give some of the money to his brother uh, before. Uh, because I guess you know his estate was not yet you know kind of settled. So he was uh, sort of able to. benefit from killing himself in that way. I think uh, Aaron Hernandez did the same thing. Yeah. So there's a there's like an estate planning benefit to the suicide, which is, you know, kind of I, sad to think that's the way that he... Why are white people that don't like that way? This guy's trying to. Kale, Kale is free farming. Oh, that's good. I, I might be able to come clean this up. I, I can... Oh, you're cracked. Oh snap! We won't be five. We won't be five. I want a power spike. We can literally if set in. Okay, they just decided not to help. But even if they helped them, we would have killed them. What game are you guys playing? We are dominating a game called League of Legends. Are you Are you kidding? You see what channel you're in? Oh, I'm a. Oh wow. Wouldn't be fine, wouldn't be fine. There's nibs. Kill her too, I got her. I'm going. Oh shit. Oh, I hit the tower! <laughs> it's okay. I hit the fucking okay. tower with my Q. <laughs> you gotta use target champions only. That button is OP. Which, uh, what do I, A or? I think it's on tilt by default. Yeah, it is. Whenever you, I, I have a rebound. Whenever you hold tilde, all of your abilities and clicks that are targeted no. uh, can only hit champions. 
You just put my game significantly. So like, uh, she was like right behind the tower. I just held space and right click, and it clicked her instead of the tower. Listen, our uh, I was clicking right on the tower. Look at our can can see Leona only one with decent awareness. What a jerk. We basically would have been unable to kill the. <laughs> what do you like? Era if I didn't use it. You you like Frozen Heart? On Leona. Female for sure. Yeah, sometimes. I mean, it's really good this game. It's are full AD. They're full, full AD. Getting the own male first. Yeah, so I don't know. The Epstein thing is, is ridiculous. Like, there's so many people believe conspiracy theories right now. I think partially because the world feels quite out of control and it makes us feel comfortable to believe in conspiracy theories. There are people who study them from a sociological phenomenon perspective and most people agree that conspiracy theories tend to flourish in times of political change and upheaval, uh, of, of which we're going through one right now. It's a very weird time. True, dude. I think it's weird, too, how in the case with Deutsche Bank, yeah. uh, the judge, the judge's family was targeted. And I don't know. And they said that it, like, if some crazy attorney that was um, that had her as a judge for one of his cases, and then he dressed up as like I don't know if it was a UPS driver or some sort of mail carrier, went to her house and then shot her husband and her. Her son died, right? Yeah. I think yeah, the son died. No, and I, the funny thing is, the attorney I work with, um, this was when I was working with another attorney, but he had a class action case in front of that same judge. Um, it was a Verizon class action thing, some stupid spam call thing that he had, and um, she was the judge that decided it. And um, yeah, I don't know. I think it's weird. I'm not saying I believe in it because I do. I do really think that weird some things, things are just odd coincidences. Um, I mean, this was a and, strange person. Jeffrey Epstein was yeah. an extremely odd person that you know was a sexual yeah, deviant. He, he was a criminal. He made a ton of money somehow without, um, you know, disclosing how he made it. It seems like it was connected to extortion, uh, to Lex Wex Les Wexner and others. You know, this is a fascinating thing. It's, it's, it captivated the country because it's a very odd situation. Doesn't mean that he killed himself, <laughs> you know? Uh, I'm sorry, it, it doesn't mean that he didn't kill himself, you know, which is, you know, there's no evidence to the other, to the contrary. And the guy was depressed in prison. I mean, would, you know, a lot of people would kill themselves. No, they would, yeah. The embarrassment yeah. Of, of being known as the world's most hated person, that alone could crush a lesser man. True. And then what they would do to him in prison, a lot of times he was probably... Yeah, no, he knew what was coming. So ultimately he took uh, the easy way out to some extent and Prisons are notoriously lax about things like that. Like people die in prison every day. Nobody ever worries about them or thinks about them. I, I looked up how Ghislaine is doing. She got transferred to uh, a prison in Tallahassee, Florida. Yeah, nobody's nobody's and, killing her, you know? No, no, I don't think anyone's, I don't think she's gonna kill herself. She made friends with another inmate, surprisingly, yeah, people, uh, another wealthy woman who killed her husband. People handle um, stress, this kind of stress in different ways. It's her name, Carol Baskin. No, not Baskin. People handle that I mean, kind of stress. This, it is like impossible to find a woman my age that like doesn't believe in something made up like astrology yeah. or Cryptocurrency, <laughs> technology, oh, like, crypto politics, bro. just a bunch of made up fucking nonsense. Yeah, that's true. How or like it? insane woke ideology, which I'm mean, like, hey, I love social justice, but like some of this shit is just totally mind blowingly wrong. You're telling me there's a fake coin that's worth real money? Exactly. It's called the Trump NFT. You're just what I'm like. Um, shout out to the front bottoms. The okay. Shout out to the what? The front bottoms. The both play? Cold play? The front bottoms? The front bottoms, the band? Yeah. 
Holy shit. We engage. Um, we're kinda, I maybe shouldn't have won. It's kind of taking too long. Oh, we gotta run away from the area. Ah, fucked up. Is that the ADC who got... Uh oh, somebody's doing noob stuff. Somebody's doing noob stuff. Oh no. Wait. No. God damn it! I mean, I can't. I will never die. That was the worst, like, trickle in. <laughs> Osteo, do you know who your profile picture is? The significant. Yeah. Ah. Yes. Uh. You guys can't kill me. You just don't have enough damage. I'm trying to find my Twitch. Embarrassing. Nice. Embarrassing. I'm just outplaying these guys. We're in the top. Oh my god, I'm too good at Shivana. Is this what a diamond one player looks like? It's what a challenger player looks like. Not quite. <laughs> Probably never in my lifetime. Maybe maybe when the game dies I can hit GM. You guys see that Mr. Beast accepted the position of CEO of Twitter? Incredible. I think a lot of people right, let's go do drag. Was it serious? Did Musk offer it? A while ago, he tweeted, he was like, if you die, can I have Twitter? And he said, yes, or something like that. Yeah. That doesn't count. God, Elon Musk is such a loser. Oh my god, I can't stand to read anything he says anymore. Like, the last few weeks has just been... It's, it's too much. The guy is just too much. What the fuck? No awareness. You can 1v5 them, right? Yeah. They're like full AD, it's not just like building a bunch of armor. Like, yeah. oh, I can like, check out the pretty girls on, on Twitch. I tried to open my stream, but I got distracted by Scarlet Jane, who's not that popular. There's a few more followers than I do. Or viewers. Oh, she's Canadian. Have you thought about starting your own gaming, your own esports uh, gaming organization? Yeah. Oh my god, that's such a great idea. Were you guys actually talking about that or no? Yeah. That's hilarious. He had one in one time. Come on, I was tanking that damage forever. This is a... Uh... Sponsored by Pfizer. Lama! Welcome! I went to a chair. I got a t-shirt with the mice going on it. True. True. Welcome, Martin. I wish. I wish it said that. I'm sure I got a bottle of that. Right. Welcome, all the new followers. I see you coming up here. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm so glad you're here. Yeah. I'm going to very slowly crochet football. Very, very slowly. Increase, single, single, increase. Got it. Whoops. What are the correct uses? She's actually going to ship a container on that. Humac. I am a super simp. I mean, typically on stream, I crochet and I dress up. I like to dress simp? up. I like crocheting. Uh, other hobbies, I like. Um, I like hiking. I like camping. Very Are you playing another? Slow. Are you gonna play Aaron? Yeah, we're playing again. Hello, Pooping. 30. Welcome. She, her. Wolf's food down. 
She's from British Columbia. Thank you, oh, Nico shit, that's Storm. Right. Very good point. Definitely was not used in that scenario. Oh, she has Discord? <sighs> Hi, Jacob. How you doing today? Scarlet's Don't web. Fall for that trap, no. Oh, I'm falling. I'm falling deep into her web. No. Like Reddit. Alright, quick, quick play again. Yeah, actually. Is it, is such like a mix of people and you can find everything there. You'll Jason find your people there. Eric! I need a woman to start a family with. Thanks, Eric. What town did that say? It's already done? I'm How long have I been a streamer? Just over two months. Oh, Mark, <laughs> Welcome, Yema. My friend uh, wants to play. Can we play with him? Uh, can we do a three person rank? Or is if they hit my mouth, my <laughs> We could do three person rank? Yeah, flex rank, yeah. Uh, can you open it? Yeah, I did. I changed it. Let me invite him. Sar. God damn it. Dirk, what is your profile picture? What is the? Is it a guy that has like a whole bunch of Botox? Um, it's a Bogdanoff. It's like a mirror image of Bog. They just recently died, I think. This oh shit! Here. Who died? Yo, Bogdanoff. The oh, Bogdanoff. Yo, we can't do four. Oh. Yeah, you need. Oh uh, wait, I've got a. What do I do? Yeah, I can get a. Oh jeez, I have. Can you do party of five or is it only three? You want me to log in and be fit? We can do five. Okay, cool. Can we boot Fizzle? Who's Fizzle? I can kick him. Kick him. Who is Fizzle anyway? Did you invite them? Nope. They are on your friends list, it appears. They oh. joined the lobby. Uh, are these the, the these the right ones? Yeah, the I right think players? so. Oh, somebody wants to jump into Discord together. Okay. Where? Uh, let me send it to you. Do you have three with you, or how many do you have? Two. I'm streaming as well. Oh, okay. nice. Do you, need, do you want uh, me to kick somebody? Uh, I can I can take this one up, go spend time with the kids, and join you afterwards. No, no, we can. You sure? Yeah. I, don't, I don't even know these people. Who? Quest, who do you, you boot? Wait, or Kareem, would you play if we could just beat one of them? One yes, of Little yes, Overdose yes, or yes, Cal? I don't yes. know who this. Cal is my homie. Who is, who is Little Overdose? Do you know yeah, can we boot Little Overdose? Let's boot them, yeah. Okay, I'll kick that guy. Yeah, there we go. And then Kat, just come join. Alright. There we go. Alright, pick your rolls. Oh, okay. Uh, no, Cox, we gotta go mid, I think. Cox, yeah, to go mid, and oh. then I think go ADC. Yeah, cool. So, wheat, let's go. Are you guys, um, Good. Uh, we've got a mix of skill ranges here. Uh, Atex and I are both high gold. Gox started playing a month ago, but he's like low silver now. All right, let's. <laughs> I hope I get one of my my better champions. Should Wait, what are you? <laughs> I'm scared now. I I was D one this last. Nice. Week. Oh my. Okay. Well, all right. I'm gonna sweat then. All right. I'm gonna sweat then. This will be some oh. fun. Martin, you were also like diamond, right? A long time ago, yeah. A long time ago, then. like eight, eight years. <laughs> All right, ago. I'm getting my gaming chair. <laughs> okay, I'm almost plat now. Very close. I need to win three more games to get to plat. Uh, my friend is a crypto skeptic, so you guys have to bear with him. He 
he uh, hates all things crypto. So. Are these a bunch of crypto bros? No, no. No, we're the opposite of crypto bros. <laughs> <laughs> you got a room full of crypto skeptics, so you're aligned here. <laughs> but my buddy is a big SBF simp, though, so. Uh, wow. Well. What? <laughs> <laughs> We do live in Miami, so we are close by, but... <laughs> Crypto headquarters. <laughs> yeah. The details... I don't know if you know about this, but Sam Bankman freed FTX had made a deal with Riot to sponsor the LCS. No way. Wow. Yeah. And the details of the deal are coming out. Oh, um, awesome. And it has just been such a disaster. Uh, basically, right before they made the deal... Um, Riot had disallowed one of the teams in the LCS from taking FTX as a sponsor oh, because they didn't friends. meet Riot's Sorry. sponsorship guidelines. No Riot way. Riot didn't allow sponsors like gambling sponsors, crypto exchanges, cryptocurrencies, stuff like that. And right after disallowing FTX to be a sponsor of a team, FTX contacted Riot themselves and offered them um, a bunch of money to just sponsor the whole league. And um, I think the amount was something like $110 million. Dude, yeah, there's $96 million sponsorship deal over eight years. Also, what? Of these articles are framing it like, Riot Games is looking to end its sponsorship deal with FTS. It's like, yeah, because the fucking company's bankrupt, dude. Like, yeah, they're trying to get out of the contract. And they said that, it's that yeah, Sam was... Have, you know, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Sam was a negative influence for the game, apparently, so that was really oh, funny. Fuck me, I don't want to play against Yorick. That's my counter. Tits. Tits, 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 tits. But, um, I hate playing against his Yorick. The funniest part is that it's a deal that goes up in value every year. So they've only oh had like the first half a year and they only got like six million dollars he was used to doing deals like that i can't say anymore but i know of a confidential deal that he basically had this escalator in there and it compounded so bad that at the end of the deal it was this impossibly large amount of money like dude you understand how that you know compounds right <laughs> i mean as, as soon as i saw the the deal with Riot and TSM and they spon they sponsored the name of some arena. The name of the arena. Uh, they sponsored the name to some arena. Um, FTX. Those arena. things. It's it's in my like I am. Yeah, I was instantly like, all right, this company is not going to be around very long. Yeah, it's a kiss of death when a company sponsors an arena. Well, it's just that it's like. Um, they don't intend to maintain the full like 10 year sponsorship. They just wanted to generate buzz because buzz drives up their profit. And then whenever anything happens, like if, if, if the company collapses, those deals are just moot. And then if like crypto collapses, they make a bunch of money as an exchange on the way down. And then they just close their doors and buy themselves out of those deals. Yeah. Well, Binance seems to be doing all right, so. What did you say? Binance is doing all right. <laughs> seems, seems is the key word, seems. <laughs> seems, seems. Uh, they're, they're on my Cryptodomus list. <laughs> Cryptodomus has foretold the collapse of crypto. Yeah, we have a lot of exchanges on the list. Uh, Crypto Domus probably didn't expect the Trump NFT collection to spike in value, though. Yeah. <laughs> it's so lame. Oops, sorry. The, the current prediction is for AAX. No, actually, I actually think AAX is done. I had predicted it. I think I was right. Crypto.com by uh, Gats, your mint reminder. <laughs> We'll see. Oh, Martin, is it streaming a new thing, or is that... No, you been streaming for a minute? I've been streaming. I just... 
I don't know. I can't crack the streaming code. It's very like. It's very. It hard. requires a lot of dedication. Consistency, yeah. Yeah. I did it a bit just to fuck around during uh, COVID, and it was kind of, I mean, it was fun. I maybe got up to like, yeah, you know, 75, 100 viewers at peak, but that was like one or two nights where I like brought in a couple guests, et cetera. And it, yeah. Realized that was very much like a COVID gnosis thing. I was like, I don't want to do this again. Yeah, it's so much work. Like, who yeah. who has the time for it? Like, I, I like it when you can do it spontaneously. Yeah, it'd be cool if there's a way to just do it spontaneously and you, like, you know, could get a big following, but it seems like basically those two things are just completely decorrelated. Yeah, unless you're Drake or something, you know? <laughs> uh... First light approaches. Somebody showed me this interesting statistic that 6% of all Bitcoin is used for uh, stake. Well, that's it's coming from. Yeah, what the stake. fuck? Are you kidding me? Three man? What is going on? Oh, they have a new new mid, I should mention. Oh, did they he's steal your... Wait, what is going on? Oh my god. He didn't steal anything, but he's gonna try to roam a lot. The idea is that his champion is like really good at roaming. Okay. Um, and what's the trundle? The trundle's their juggler. Okay. The trundle's the juggler. Are they gonna dive me? Level 1? <laughs> is that their plan? Um, I don't know how this is gonna work. Me? Okay, so do I... So mid's open? I don't think they're stolen anything. They're just doing like some cheese strategy. Which means I'm gonna get to steal a lot of this jungle camp. So. Oh my god, I'm missing everything, sorry. Don't worry about this. I'm just wondering what's going on. I don't even like pillaring in good places. Okay, well... They're just trying to cheese you. This is gonna lose them the game. Oh, man, come on, man. I love not fun. Oh, man, I'm just I just need to get level four and then I can go destroy all those jungle camps. It's okay if you even, like, lose tower plates and stuff. I mean, try to keep your abilities off cooldown so that if they do try to dive, you can just, like, throw your EO yeah. and stun them. Do you want to wait for six before engaging them, or I can dive anytime? Uh, it's whatever. I'll follow your lead. You're the better player. I'm not the better player. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck, man? How long are they gonna stay here for? Also, they're not even like trying to like sneak. Or, like they could, they could have killed me by now if they just like hid in the bushes Probably. or something. I mean, but... in like a perfect world, you should be able to play them, but it would require good execution. I would have expected. I don't vision it. That's got free, but I like getting to farm the whole map as food here. Yeah, usually for Tristana, you want to wait to level 6 to engage, right? Uh, usually I go to level 2. I mean, I, I just need my jump. That's really what yeah. I need. And the Ash Yumi, your guys, is level it's, 2. Uh, it's level easy. Three, it's like we're, we're, we're better than them. The one thing, you just have to be careful about, like, uh, you don't exhaust into her cleanse and then get like red plates. Yeah, you know, Yumi doesn't have exhaust. Never mind, you guys are fine. The concern would be that like you exhaust Ash, she cleanses, and then. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, okay, yeah. Not you, but she took well, they just wasted their flashes all of them at the same time. That's GG. Nice, nice. Easy. Easy, GG. The road to plasma Ooh, begins. Nice. The road to diamond begins. <laughs> They're not even taking his topside jungle. He literally did red buff and has not hit another jungle camp. <laughs> <laughs> so. Look at this wave that we're, we're back. shoving. I think we're good. <laughs> Nice. Like eight creeps right into tower. Oh, well, Ash might get one or two. I'm guessing you wouldn't know, but do you know if they did the scuffle top side at least? No, they. Oh, well, maybe. The shield. You'd have. I guess they're they're having moments where they've stepped away, so it's not impossible, but it seems. I 
I think it seems fairly likely. What is it called? I always call it the cockroach. Scuttle crab. Scuttle. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if I if I can hit six here, um, we can probably kill them all. Two v three. Yeah. Anybody playing World of Warcraft? Okay. Long time ago, but yeah, the new one's up. That's kind of gotten popular again. All right, we can kill all of them. Yeah, I know a bunch of babes that are into it right now. They're running away. They want me to play with them. World of Warcraft's like the, the chick flick of video games. Yeah. This should be a fourth. Do you like that? World of Warcraft's the chick flick of video games? Wait, they don't even... Oh, they are kind of cute. Well, it looks like they're mostly taking the farm from... Yurik. This is gonna be a very easy game. Yeah, I'm guessing... When, when's the earliest you can forfeit? 15? <laughs> yeah, maybe they'll forfeit it. Isn't this technically a ranked game? Flex, like, yep. Ranked flex? I've never played it, so I'm helping with the MMR or Edo. I'm just kind of back again. Yep. Oh, what the? Wait, that thing fucking stopped the damage? What the fuck? Oh, I just didn't take any damage? What? I might die. Oh, man. God damn it. Yeah. He's out of mana. I can probably kill her. <sighs> that should have been an easy kill. I have to dodge this arrow. I'm good. God damn it. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, he's so bad. GG Ash. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, really? He overstayed. <laughs> what a guy. You guys know George Hotz? Geo Hotz? Mm -hmm. He's a street he's a programming streamer. It's really he's really interesting actually. Oh. Gax, how's Midlane? I haven't heard from you. He's a one of these zero. Alright. He has nothing to do. Gax, you're muted and you have been for the past 45 minutes. Okay, not quite 45 minutes. 45 minutes we were in the other game. <laughs> My point, exactly my point. Are you guys all in uh, the VC world or startup world? Or? Uh, founders. Yeah. Uh, try to do shit. Tech. Yeah. yeah. Kareem's the founder of uh, Ramp, if you know it. Uh, yeah. yeah. Big company, right? And then uh, Mark's the founder of Pop. And we're brothers. Oh, cool. I just uh making a competitor to Bloomberg. It's uh what I was doing before I went uh. to prison. But everyone's tried to do something like this, but nobody's really pulled it off because the people that make this software aren't actual pro are, I'm sorry, aren't actual traders. Um so it'll be interesting. Come on, come on, come on. I have to back my bud. Oh, I just got off the this is the dumbest middle lane ever. Ooh! Ooh. Oh. Dude, you're alone mid lane, right? Oh, I forgot. Oh, yeah, it happens. Punished me. Oh man, big wave too. It's a good thing I have less farm. 
I'm gonna come bot here. Can you guys take a look at Udir? He's basically finishing the game. Let's go. How can <laughs> our jungler yeah. never no show up? <laughs> I'm a noob. I should have. I should have gotten that kill too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Is Why are we doing this? This is so gay. <sighs> oh man. Uh, well, they all disappeared. Yeah. Tired. Oh, they're all okay. push. Ha! <laughs> 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 they can kill me so easily. They aren't even like stopping you from farming. I don't know why. They don't even let me take plates. Will they? No, that's too far. Or no, that's okay. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> I don't know what's allowed versus what's not. I don't think they passed. Yeah, have you kept up with AI in League, uh, Quest? Um, nobody's really tried to do anything like that with League. Why not? They, they did it with Dota, I think. StarCraft? Uh, they did it with Dota, they did it with StarCraft, they've done it with a couple other things, but, um, Riot just hasn't offered up, like, the... API? Like in, like, in Dota and StarCraft, yeah, in Dota and StarCraft, they were like, yeah, sure, we'll like help you make the right, right, right. necessary Again? Uh, Fuck! Riot. Riot's just no fun, they don't care. Oh yeah, I think we're playing a little defensive and it's kind of mean. Okay. Let's try to engage them. Okay, Lex, you ready? Let's go. There's three of them. Hit the cues! Oh, that was nice! I don't have it back yet, they're all so squishy. I'm stuck in the corner, I can't fucking move! There's a guy right here somewhere. Cax killed it. Wow. Hey! <laughs> Cax nailed the skill shot. Bot struggling a little bit. We need some we need our jungler to join the game. Good shit, Cax. Cax, help me take this turret. Who's our jungler again? Uh, it's the trundle that's been sitting up here. <laughs> I guess you need the help with the 3D too, but... Yeah, I've kind of been padding up because I'm scared oh my God. I won't do a dive. And I'm like, oh, I should be there to help. So kind Sorry, of... I think we're... Ah, no time for the play. We're getting tower. Oh, oh yeah! Go Gax! Thank you for the save, otherwise I was dead. <laughs> we, can, we can dive these guys. They uh, went mid. Just clear their wave and then I'll tank and we can dive. What do you want to do, Martin? Uh, uh I have to probably, probably back. back. Let's go. Or go mid. Roll mid. Just a dragon up. <laughs> no, we don't care. Oh, he's TPing. We can kill him too. He's lethality. No! Oh, they're here. Just run away. Uh oh, no, the real team is here. Oh, let's, get, let's get tower talk. I mean, um, but. I don't know what that okay, we can't really do it though. She does. Out of position. Uh oh. Nice. <laughs> this game's <is> fun. <laughs> you guys are winning 3v5? Yeah. We haven't seen an enemy champ in like three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I say keep going. I don't know. <laughs> keep going. Let's go. <laughs> Take it all the way, baby. We'll back when they show up. <laughs> okay, okay. Bye <laughs> bye. Good job. I might get arrowed. No, no, I don't want to get arrowed. Did you no, you're going? good! You're Why? good! Ah!
I would have finished that creep at least. You. Okay. <laughs> Ash was the only one playing, right? <laughs> I, oh, yeah, I guess, yeah. He's playing, just, appears yeah. To be, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm Take the Herald? Probably, yeah, I'm gonna take the Herald, and then we can use Herald, just like end the game. Once, uh... We have a couple items. They should be able to stop us. <laughs> Did he stop playing all? I mean, yeah, I don't think we have to do much more analysis. Only analysis I'm doing is whether I date Carolyn Ellison now or later. She. I don't know what you think, Cryptodonis, but I. Carolyn is uh. I don't think she's a whistleblower as much as she is a... She, she had knowledge of what was going on. Oh man, you guys don't want me playing your reindeer games. Uh, too long. Oh my bad, I abandoned you. Can we make it so the Herald survives? I don't think so, right? No, it's too long. Oh, it depends on how fast we kill all the turrets. It, it, it can never die just from a charge. It has to die from turrets. So if we just kill the turrets really quickly. Oh, shit! Five? So oh, nice, ulti, man! Nice, ulti, guys. GG. Eighteen minute end. Come fight me. Can they do it? Can the boys do it? I flash for it. <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit. <laughs> 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 well, thank you, but I don't think so. <laughs> that was nuts. Easy ELO. <laughs> That's why your stream is not getting many views. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm, I'm gonna take a break. I'll play again in like. 15 minutes, something. Sure. Okay, so we need... What? Like this. Play Alright, oh, right. you can't do four, right? Do we wanna try yeah. to swap somebody in? I can grab somebody. Or just go to normals? No, no, I can grab somebody. Uh, okay, cool. Um, uh, let's see. We just gotta boot him. Hmm. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> He's oh, back. he probably just clicked ready or whatever. Uh, okay. Let me see here. I don't even know. Let's go. I'm ready. Yeah. Nice. Uh, a little overdose is back. Wait, what level is that? 291. Damn. Still silver after level 291. <laughs> Tough. <It's> SBF style. <laughs> SBF style. No, yeah. Oh shit, you hear what I said? Awful. <laughs> Wait, he's not even in the Discord. I don't know if he's watching the stream or something. Fuck. 
All of it. Yeah, definitely watching the stream. <laughs> Martin, would you CEO of Twitter if given the chance? I would do so well with Twitter. It would be a Swiss Army Knife app so fast. <laughs> <laughs> Payments? We got that. <laughs> League of Legends? Uh, you know, uh, um, definitely have a, a League of Legends integration. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> What else do you need? Every shutdown, you just tweet like your ass <laughs> and at whatever. <laughs> yeah, auto auto tweet on kills. Yeah, that's weird to be. Perfect integration. Do you have to ban? There's a, there's a nun button, but I think it's really cringe to click it. There's too many champs. Yeah, it would be a thousand dollars to be blue certified. Absolutely. I, I'm not sure what the elasticity is on that. Anyway, there are a lot of people that that'll pay. But I like that. I mean, it's smart to think about an idea that just prices bots out and that's it. But the problem is we've noticed that like people will pay to pretend to be somebody else. I don't know. Aw, oh, shit. Renek. What up against? Oh, Renek did. Nice. Easy peasy. Hey, Dix, did you look at uh, how good these guys are that we're up against? Yeah. I mean, how are they? Bresh is gold. Renek is gold, too. Okay. The rest gold, too? Nice. Okay. The rest are silver one. Okay, should be easy. Silver one, and I'm almost silver four, I think, something like that. It doesn't matter, though. Come on. Look. It doesn't matter. Sure. We can't be stopped. I'm going to start. Don't want to take a step my back. Don't weep. Oh. I love not fall. <laughs> let him cook. <laughs> Hold up, let him cook. That's the best meme ever. <laughs> You know the League of Legends lore quest. I don't know very much. I used to know it pretty well when I was like younger, but it's basically changed a lot. They like changed like every character lore. Look. 
Okay, I might dive Ezreal if he's still level 1. Mm -hmm. Suck. No W. Precious pull. Mm -hmm. It lands that. It's usually wombo combo for Ezreal. How healthy is Renekton right now? Uh, pretty healthy. Oh, he's crossing the jungle. But he has no, uh, what's it called? No help. No, 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 at least. Oh. Um, it's here. Yeah. I'm gonna do a scuttle, I'm gonna work for a top, and then I'm gonna move to It's one how oh, I wanted you to... Oh, that sucks. I was trying to kite down so that you can escape. Ouch. Nice. Flash too. Oh, you got the flash too? Sick. Dude, he took two turret shots, that was wild. On my SBF oh, shit. League of Legends. <laughs> if he flashed later, I might only take the one. Ooh. SBF does not represent the League of Legends community, okay? Absolutely not. A lot of us, you know, we studied in college. <laughs> A couple of Dude, us. Not all of us. We took some tests, passed them. <laughs> I'm not a physicist, but I, I could tell you probably more than Sam can. Sam fucks up that MIT reputation, in my opinion. Was Sam a college graduate? Sam went to MIT! Uh, he was, yeah. He, he went to MIT. Damn, I guess it's not everything it's shocked up. Dude, I my whole life I wanted right. to... I dreamed of going to MIT as a 10-year-old kid. Well... Didn't we look up if he was the first MIT dude in jail and he wasn't? Like, there's another dude. A hacker, I think. Aaron Schwartz? Oh, yeah, like Aaron Schwartz, kind of, right? Right. Fuck off, man. I want to buy Sam's uh, account and then, or like, yeah. or, or like hack it. Maybe just one or more. It's just hack it. You know, I can just hack into it or something like that and uh, pay some. Coming to talk. Just keep him interested. Keep him interested. Pay Black Hat to nice. grab it, and then when fucking every least expect it, log in and just fucking go ham. Um, I have a. There's a high elo player who. Uh, he was Challenger, he was on some oh team, and like Challenger, he said they got arrested for um, like having sex with us. Right no way. He posted bail, and then went on the run, and my friend has an account that has the same IGN as one of his old accounts, and every once in a while he'll go play some games on it, and then people will, on Twitter will think it's this guy who's on the run playing <laughs> games, and like, <laughs> high diamond. That's great. Yeah, I need to find a way to maybe even get somebody at Riot to give me this fucking login or something. I have a friend who works no there. No fucking way, dude. You get to level 6 out that. Fuck! Okay. But all I got from him is free RP. I'm not sure he can get his accounts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a big ask. <laughs> I think we dive this guy. No, it's... I am so fat. What is happening this game? Rally to me. Did we freeze?
sorry I haven't been bought on this game. I kind of just have a tendency as a jungler to never go bought. Okay. But next time I ult up, I'll probably come down there. Watch the thresh hook as usual. Uh, oh, never mind. He's bad. Actually, my next ult's probably going to be top again. We see the enemy jungler in a bit? Actually, mid's probably the best one. The hardest thing to learn in this game is uh, patience, in my opinion. It's a lot like chess. Yeah, I talk about that a lot with like high elo players, is that like one of the biggest things that they'll struggle with with challenge players is like a lot of the time, the right strategy... You could dive as if you... Oh no, oh, it'd be so bad. A lot of the time, you just need to chill out and do nothing and like challenge players. Oh my god, dude. They're so good at playing the game and they're so bad at not doing anything. Yeah, you can't uh, force a play every every second. You have to spend a lot of time just chilling. Fuck me, man. She knew you flashed. How healthy was it? But they're healthy, but they're healthy, unfortunately. Is he either doing good? Is he either doing good? Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to. There we go. You got it. Oh, come on now. Oh. Oh. Lucky shot. <laughs> You're fine. I'm not so worried about him hooking us now. I just under tower. I didn't. Like allergic to. You know, they're flash timers, bottom line. Gank? Do they both have flash? Okay. Dude, he's so fucking good at dodging the E's. Fuck, I man. I dodged his vision. They don't know that I'm here. Sorry. Yeah, I, I should not have done that. Oh, I thought I ignited. I didn't even ignite. <laughs> Sorry. Our Momo is there. If you guys can crash. Drag? Oh, crash? Oh, it looks like it. You could go, Leon. Yeah, you got it. You got to oh. crash. That's crashed. So you can come do the dragon now. Alright. Watch your ult. Yeah, I'm gonna take a lot of damage. I'm just gonna sit in dragon. You guys have to finish. I'm sneaking out. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I can't believe I got out. That actually worked. Nice. That was like the silliest way out. <laughs> all right, well, we're doing all right. Did they, they didn't steal Dragon in it? Okay, good. No, 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 no. I'm not dead. Dude, come on, man. Fuck. Let's pick it up, boys. We can do this. We got this. Okay, guys, chill. A moon is going to be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> then why did they send four pe four people to the top? We're just trying to do golems. I will shred a moment once I have some damage. I can see what people. Big wave. Deal. Nice wave. That was hilarious. I can't believe I got him. Thank you.
can look after Looking for an all in here. Mm -hmm. He's, not, he's not strong enough, actually. I mean, he, 0 and 2. He, he's terrible. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, we might want to crush him. Oops. <laughs> all good, all good, all good. Wow. Whoa. You can zone him a little. Oh man. Okay, okay. I'll tell, I'll tell, I'll tell. Move here. Don't worry about me. Wow. I'm moving on both side. Yeah. Oh my god. Just be careful. They still have poke potential, damage potential. Ezreal's mad. Oh my god. Oh, I missed it. Sorry. You're good, you're good. Dude, you're gonna be fucking kidding me. So fucking no, no. Oh, fuck. Have you seen him in movie recently? He was bot, he's bot, he's bot. Ha! <laughs> that flash. Thank you. That's nice. Back to farming. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I flipped. Oh shit, what are oh, you doing? Man. Oh! Sorry, I, could, I only had vision on this guy. The other dude was here. My bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> Sorry. That was so bad. <laughs> Suicide. Did it, did it. Oh my god, I might stay. They got it, I'm not gonna get it. Nice. Maybe. Oh, nice. Oh. Shit. Oh, we should end this way. Actually, I can see. Yeah. Oh, shit. 
Sorry. Oh, it was bot just now, right? Yep. You can put some pressure there, and then I can take his top side camps. <laughs> the chat says, uh, based Lux mid player. Yeah, Lux mid is fucking disgusting right now. I don't know that it's based, but it's really <laughs> It takes a lot to be based. It's false they, like, they took a champion that was like already really good and then they just like gave her a bunch of buffs. Don't sell it. Sell it. Thank you for all these ganks. Oh, I'm dead. Oh shit. I guess I should I, I guess they okay. have to get through me. Bobby. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Just stay good. Watch out. Wow. Ah, <laughs> yeah, one more W. Like, we make fun of them, but they... It's close. They're not... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Game yeah. Wow, 7-1. Okay. Yeah, she's really fun. Oh, nice. Okay, okay, I'll take it. I'm sort of taunting them. Wait, how the fuck did she die there? What? She was a low. He... Sit. He's an Arter, or what did he do? He... I think she stood in the W and he flashed Arter. Oh, wow. Yeah. We can hang back. Minute twenty, we're like still <laughs> we're not playing. Oh, come on, dude. Ezreal's kid. Whatever, I'll take it. I'll probably just go like Jack Show, Force of Nature, and try to like push out the ones. Um, we may be okay. Uh oh. What should we do? Uh... What's the call? Shot caller. We just yeah, someone. Arm a little bit, and then we go to dragon in like okay. 30 seconds. Seconds. Do we call first? We were, never, we were never out of it. I have such a big family. 
I have more than twice as a boost, yes. He's stronger than you guys, but he's much more. Yeah, 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 go for go for go for Just make sure to catch top at some point. Yup. Yeah, I can just check, so I'm ready to 1v9. Stand and fight. Oh, fuck it, I'm just gonna be lazy. Wanna go for it? They waste their poke on me. Oh. Uh -oh. God damn it. My man. My man Four got mid, caught. Okay. My yeah. man got caught. Yes, I did get caught. My off cooldowns were below that was so. Right next here. Send anybody back, I can take the inhibitor. Um, he's quite low. so much. <laughs> they guarantee more of my favorites. Oh, this is easy. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. I all thought I was going to catch him with a sick ulti. But... Might have vision here. Never mind. care if I invite Kamoth to play? Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How funny would that be? <laughs> Here they come. Gotta find some other weak players. I wanna see Lex Friedman play. I would, I would love playing League with Lex Friedman. I'm, I told you I'm going on a show. I didn't know. Yeah. That's fucking dope. 
We should focus and reenact them first. Oh, oh my god, that's a lot of damage. What? Alright, I got him, I got him. Sorry. Oh wow, that was a crazy... Stay or welcome. Leave, 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 leave. <laughs> I'm out, I'm out, I'm out there, yeah. Not that you need me, but... What? Alright, you got me excited. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm out, I'm out. Okay, maybe I... You know. <laughs> Guys, later. More See ya. League of Legends. Yeah. Game's not going anywhere. Hopefully, hopefully this game never goes in. <laughs> and so, is uh, it true that in Sweden there's a lot of suicide occurring? I think. I mean, I don't know. The issue with Nordic countries is that winters are dark, and when it's dark, what happens is that you get low vitamin D, and then you get depressed, and then you end up having people uh, becoming alcoholics. That's why. That's why black metal came from that area, right? I mean, mm -hmm. it's true. I mean, I think people just want to be pagan because Christianity went away. Do you hear the band Mayhem? I don't really listen to uh, metal. I know a guy though who is in like two metal bands for some reason. What they call shit. You know, well, why you not? Reply in Albania. Two bands better than one. Being in a band is pretty cool. Like, he used to reply before mine. Is it because I'm speaking in Albanian? You want to reply? Talking to me? Yeah, I, I said some stuff and someone said, don't say in Albanian. Yeah, I don't care if you speak Albanian or not. I speak Albanian. Oh, my bad. Okay. I, I don't mind. I just can't respond to every single person. Oh, my bad, my bad. Now I'm just uh, reminded of those memory memes. Like, he's worse than a Jew. <laughs> what? <laughs> he's Albanian. Oh. Is that from Borat? No, I, f I believe it's... Like, or I, I don't know, I think I saw it in like a memory meme, you know, the Arab TV that's like translated <laughs> and given subtitles. Jeez. But then the problem is that then people made like fake subtitles that are just funny. 
so you don't really know which is which, and it's really hard to tell because they just say so much insane stuff on Arabic TV. Like they just threaten each other by, you know, like, oh, I'm gonna beat you with a shoe. You look okay? Martin, when you try to make a new Twitter account, do they like, and you, do they automatically like, yeah, say, uh, suspicious, act, suspicious activity, something like, like that, right yeah. away? Mine, if Donald Trump can return to Twitter, you should be able to. Uh, I don't disagree. I think Elon, Elon, must have taken the piss. Elon has his hands full uh, a little bit more than. Martin Screlly's account. Okay, not just pissed at him for yeah, putting up the poll. Given the, 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 the vote to, to, to poll a bot. He's just got a lot going on right now. With this new, his new acquisition. Yeah, but still that poll, Jesus Christ. Uh, how have you been, mine? You've been quite busy. Yeah. Who? You mind? How have you been? Me? Uh, I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> you haven't brought your dad on yet. You, you promised you'd bring your dad on stream. Hmm. Are you taking the same sort of drugs that uh, Sam was taking? Just Me? To be optimized. That was way too you can't optimize uh, your neuropsychiatry. It's uh, you either have an illness or you don't. It's such a ridiculous thing that kids are doing these days to so-called biohack. It's just, nonsense. Just a joke. You were just typing so fast. Yeah, yeah, no, of course I, I, I get it, but it's, it's not a joke to so many people. They think it's cool. Uh, they think they have to uh, take amphetamines or some weird thing like that. Yeah, it's, I know you don't take amphetamines. You can tell. It's just such an unfortunate thing to see so many young people obsessed with, you know, taking random. Was he taking though? Um, did, did you have a look at what they were? Yeah. Sam Hankman Free was taking. The yeah, patches? no, I did, but like, I don't want to even dignify like that approach because again like these kids think that they're okay, that prime. they're way too smart and they're they really show their stupidity by failing to you know I remember when ABC did a, a like a sec a sec on this pill called modafinil um, and they equated it to like being a super drug. Yeah. I don't know. Nonsense. Like, yeah, like the movie Limitless. They I mean, it's... It's it kind of is. I mean, it's not. No, it absolutely it's isn't. Really? It's modafinil has been proven that uh, they took chess players and gave them modafinil, caffeine, or uh, ADHD drug, and none of them improved performance at all in a cognitive game, right? It just makes you stay awake. Yeah, I which mean, is not it. necessarily a good thing. No, well, it's a wakefulness trust. Yeah. Is chess really a cognitive game? That game doesn't even have any dragons in it. <laughs> thought you had to go. I have to go soon. I don't have enough time for a league game, but I have enough time to wear my headset in the kitchen while I cook. Oh man, this Canadian girl, I'm such a big fan of her, but she's, uh,. She's an OnlyFans chick. A what? It's not. Yeah, Twitter's full of that. Why was that? Huh? What? Full of OnlyFans people. Crazy. Twitter? I mean, <clears throat> like, like I, you wouldn't date OnlyFans. I wouldn't. 
it's kind of annoying because um, I, you know, back in the day I, you know, went to conventions and it was this like, you know, really sweet girl who I, you know, took into, you know, my friend group because, you know, she was, you know, like, awesome not eating and you know, whatever. Um, and what that happened is that recently thing. I looked at Instagram and then I saw that she was like advertising her own defense. I'm like, motherfucker, why? Just to set up. why what happened to you? <laughs> oi, oi, oi. You can do audiobooks while you need. Sad. No, I definitely would do it. It's not the same. I like to <laughs> make sure I mean, their voices. Hey! That just feels like I think the first e Coomer. The first difference between me and other men. Zach, I got it! Yay! Thank you, Martin! Let's get your balls in my web. These are low quality pop-ups. I'm gonna get your ball in my web. Great Queen game is Pikmin and Pikmin 2. But I think it's kind of common sense ground kind of rules to it? tell your spouse not to show their genitals to other people. I didn't cut all these out. I don't have that. Because I wanted to stream. He's actually uh, right. It's common sense. So, we're doing it on the fly. You wouldn't care if your wife had an OnlyFans account? Hey. No. Neymar. You wouldn't make me feel any type of way that she was showing off her boobs and doing sexual acts. Really? Nope. 2020. Ooh. Would you love her? Especially if that money buys some Got your ball. I don't want a PlayStation. I actually, I don't care if I see Man, the myth, the legend. Totally Fine, do you ever play FIFA? Just out of curiosity. No, I might start. Okay, cool. cool. No, just, just, just wondering. Is it because, like, it's, it's, um, it requires Thank you to you, do quick thinking? Um, you adjust to gameplay. It's actually quite good for brain development. You should try it. Just not that you need it, but I'm just saying, just if, if you come to the same conclusion. Uh, did you say it? I mean, it sounds pretty good, but it, it's no League of Legends. Nah, I, um, nah, it's a lot better than League of Legends, bro. I, 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 wow, 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 wow. It's a lot. Honestly, you've got to have to have tactics. You have to change um, your uh, play. You have to adapt to different play. Um, and also, then there's a lot of frustration. Uh, you get frustrated with the emotional things that you have to control. Emotional things, it's a video game. No, not really. When you take FIFA seriously, so you um, and you want to beat another opponent. Yeah, well, you want to beat yet. another opponent, don't you? But not like in the sense that. the balls just came today. I have two balls in my web, though. Come in pairs. Outfit about a tailor in the 1920s clothes from Chicago area dealings with gangsters, events, uh, a superhero I mean, game, animated show. What? A superhero genre animated show.
Brenda. But now it's cold and it's all frozen outside. Brenda. Like unironically, I really want a uh, like nuclear shelter man cave. That would be so fun. <laughs> Too much humanity. You know? I know, right? Just just put in like a 3D printer, you know, just uh, like a gaming system, just like all of the cool nerdy shit. You know? Oh my god. Yo, Gabby, did you get what I sent you? If I can't win this chess game. Miranda, do you want to play WoW? I am playing WoW. Alright, let me... Install and update and do all that. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, guys. Think you'll ever try Starcraft? This was none of the upbeat type thing I Oh my god, did I just fucking hang? Oh no. I was distracted. Uh, I've not played StarCraft. I can still win this. Uh, let me try Cyrus Virgo. I don't know if you mean sarcastic, but that's actually what I There's an actual experiment that you online. This is such a bad position, I'm still gonna win. He has to give the sack back. Me? No, in general, like it's difficult to sort of try and win the game and chat to, you know. It's usually a mistake, and that's. So I'm gonna assume that Harry Potter's public knowledge, right? Everyone knows it. It's an illusion. Yeah, 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 it's an illusion. Famous for being famous. He ran like some webcam site and now he's being charged for human trafficking. Yikes. No, he's not being charged by anything, but chill out, bro. He's not being charged by anything. What kind of thing is stated uh, some statements out loud and then people go, oh my god, why is he saying it in this fashion? And that's exactly what, what the statement is for, is to you, for you to get, to get your attention. Directed towards him, and, and it's so absurd. But he's saying it um, willingly. He knows what he's saying. He's saying outlandish things. He's going to get you to sort of talk about him, whether it's positive or negative. He wins, and he has won. So whether you hate him or love him, um, you can't deny that he's actually um, yeah, he's, he's risen from being blocked everywhere. This stuff actually has a grain of truth in it. He just kind of like twists it. Yeah, so no, that it's, it's stuff like, that's true, but he says it in a way which makes you think, well, I can't really agree to this because he says yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. He's very clever at what he does, man. His psychology at his best, but like it's low key true. But like if you said it that way, it's like you can't, you can't, you can't say it that way. But people have taken this to the other extreme where they've been retarded. They relate to it better. Yeah. That girl in Harry yeah. Potter is cute. She's not. Thank you, Hazy One. I actually have a like Harry Potter oh. outfit. Did I just get fucked? I think I might have just got fucked. On that. We'll bring it here to uh, to Twitch someday if you guys want to see. 
see my Harry Potter outfit. As a conservative, it's just so They have been wrong on everything. Yeah. Oh, man. How are they right? Why is science always on their side? It isn't. There is no scientific basis for masking, for example. Thank you so much. Hey, Z1, you're now a subscriber. There's no scientific basis for what? There's no scientific basis for mass usage against COVID. The reason why they push it is because they want people to blame their fellow man instead of the government for a shitty policy. I'm to keep my handles here. She was underage most Harry Potter. FBI, open up. It was. I mean, Sarah. we have known since like the 70s that masks are infected against uh, corona type viruses. Okay. Yeah, that was actually a big problem, and it was actually something how she actually said in the beginning of the pandemic. But then uh, once young, we switched, young, because, like, you know, yeah. nothing he says or said uh, was based in that one guy? or what is true. Yeah, but he was trying to shape the uh, oh, interest. Something uh, very important. Look it up, maybe. KZ1, love to. Because I was there. By that one guy. Europunk is right. Firstly, that would imply that I like Europe. Moonscope, excellent. Excellent choice. No well, FBI. Well, we're in the US, obviously. Sweden. Are you from Sweden? We don't like Europe. No, I want to live in Burgerland. Why don't you like Europe? Okay. Uh, well, so Sweden scary. is a cultural miracle. Marxist hellhole. Uh, and then you've you got the you. coming in with She's only just, two years older than me, you know, so that means like, oh, we need to censor Twitter you because freedom, you know. Uh, Eva Bus is doing a very good I'm job as editor. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to go. 19. I'm going to have to go. You're 19? <laughs> 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 they literally... Uh, they, blah, blah. Who said that? Who said that? That's so many smacks. Well, they, uh, they were trying to defend okay. why uh, I should, uh, to map that out, right? uh, shouldn't allow Not people in Twitter that are no. edgy. And they were like, oh, you know, you have to moderate here because here in Europe, we really care about blah, 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 blah. And they used, like, you know, freedom type language where uh, it's like, you're you yes, really voting for the production. Well, Damn it. Thank you. No, uh, they knew. If we could go one day without talking about this shit, it would be great. Right. Uh, yeah, Whatever that guy said, uh, go in somewhere else because he's more intelligent. Go fuck yourself, bro. Didn't even contribute, but just said, I'm gonna go somewhere with more intelligent man. Don't you dare, don't you dare talk shit about Quest. He is king. Well, fuck Quest. Go on. Uh, you're banned. I'm banning you. I'm fucking banned. Oh, just because I said. Yeah. I'm going oh. full Elon. Anybody oh. who hurts my feelings right now, starting now, I'm totally banning. Who's the new CEO of Twitter? That's already already signed. Well, Martin, I'm yes. talking like the theater. Huh? Martin for CEO at Twitter. CEO of Twitter, me? I'm talking like the theater. Twitter. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? My God, you can do it so good. I don't know. But it would be, for the meme magic, it would be hilarious, but, you know. I'm in love with this Twitch girl. I'm, I'm, I'm in love with every Twitch girl, though. Oh, that's fair. Star and Jay. I mean, that's kind of what they try to do. Yeah, it is a ploy, isn't it? All women, though. What, what Twitch girl? Mine. Uh, Scarlet Jane, 92. She's also an OnlyFans girl. Is real trouble. Like, there's quite a few of them now, right? Everyone thinks they're like they're cute. And they are cute, but it's it's ridiculous now. They all look really cute. <laughs> you could get an in if you'd be like, hey, I've got an OnlyFans too, and I think we should. Come oh back my God, I do have an OnlyFans. I forgot yes. about that. Somebody paid for it the other day too. Oh my God, it wasn't me. I would pay for it. Whoa. <laughs> Gay. I did refer it a couple of times recently to try and plug it. I gotta 
shoot some new, I need a new photo shoot. I said it was going to be featured on it. It's going to be me and Trashy. <laughs> nice. nice. Oh my god. I, oh. I have to find this picture. Exclusive of pics. That, it's him naked, but he's holding the cat in front of his crotch and then taking a mirror selfie with like his phone. Fucking weird. That. See that. Shane Dawson looking ass. Yeah, I mean, like, he's hairy. Like, whatever. He's, he's a tall Sasquatch man. All right. I'm subs. Oh. What's my battle.net password? Hell, I know. Oh my god, I don't know. I'm gonna cover your password, boo boo. Oh, it worked. <gasps> Look at you. I think it worked. Uh, let's see, it's gonna, asking me for my. <sighs> Mine, are you still working on Dropbike? Of course, yeah. I don't do the programming for it. Someone said this exact same response. Yeah, I don't do any of the computer programming for it, but quite I quite good uh, though. Quite a good idea though. I do some of the product architecture and stuff like that. Did you find coders or, or? Yeah, my partner Jason is the main developer. Okay, so I have World of Warcraft. Nice. Well, Classic or live? What's that? Classic or live? Uh, doesn't it come with both? That's what they pitched me. I'm just playing classic. Just or is it Dragonflight that I have to get? Dragonflight is live. Is what? The live version is the most up to date. Okay. I'm playing the classic version, which is only on uh, Wrath of the Lich King so far. Okay, I'm gonna just hit play and see what happens. <laughs> Good luck. Just buckle up. There's so many babes that want to play World of Warcraft right now. I said that it's uh, a rom com for video games. <laughs> you. Are Isn't that funny? Are you going to roll a fourth this time? I came up with that joke all by myself, too. Oh. Jeez, dude. Blizzard, sorry. Bitches, aren't you? Like just talk normally to AI, so you know, or NPCs. Rander? Yeah. Are you one of those horde bad biatches? Yes, I'm a I'm a horde baddie. <laughs> horde baddie. Haven't we done this before? 
You gotta uh, do it. You gotta so do, do, do it. I, do I have to roll over again? Hey. I always have time. Is that what I have to do? Is to be your horde boyfriend? Yes. Or the horde. Uh, He's a thug boyfriend. You wanna you, you wanna be on the inside. I can't I'm say. Tarogar. I can't even say that for the horde. All right, oh, which you gotta which, role play it. You could be a blood elf if you wanna be pansy about it. Realm, be like, uh, I just love it. Which realm are you? I'm a blood elf. Oh, which realm am I? Oh, I don't know. Hold on. That barely counts as horde. I'm almost done uh, with no Maragon. <laughs> Wait, you guys. <laughs> Would someone give me speaker? Because this was like the only time in like the last two weeks that I've been able to speak for some reason. If you're speaking now, then you can I speak. I think you're good, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but like in the past two weeks, I never mind. It's fine. No, I'm sorry. It's just the delayed joke there. Which one are you? Can you say your name in chat? Oh, my name is Frank Stank Bank. That's a good name. Has anyone here tried the uh, portal with RTX? What? Yes, yeah, so they released uh, a version of portal that has uh, RTX. Though I'm oh, running it on reason. Linux, so yeah, so the frame rates were god awful. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's problematic with the drivers, I guess, on Linux. I mean, here's the thing with normal portal, you can do that, no problem. It's just, and I'm supposed to have an RTX card, but it's still using DirectX despite being on Linux, so, you know. Oh, Amrit's on. Sweet. Hmm? She's Annie. single now, right? Annie, Annie. Oh my god. No, he's pretty cute too. I think if he went bald, he'd look better though. Yeah, Amy is raiding dudes. Oh my god. I heard Emirates is only getting like 40% of all her revenue. The rest is going to her boyfriend or something. You heard how much of your boyfriend is like She's... raiding all kinds of crazy stuff? Yeah, I don't know. Or pimp, I don't care. It's pretty insane. The text messages were. Oh, 100,000 gone. <laughs> yeah, imagine what she's making on Twitch. I mean, like. Just for us. I'm on so first realm. He's got to figure out what race he wants to be in the horde. You should be a tauren. You'd be a big cow. I think you should be undead. Undead was pretty Seriously, cool because he'd be a metalhead. No, he's not a metalhead. Best practices when you did so. Yes. Thank you. Your Honor, at this point, the state would ask the court to qualify Dr. Sullivan as an expert in forensic pathology based on her experience, background, training, and the fact that this is a well established. What are we watching now? Is that Amy? Amaranth? The redhead? Was she watching the court thing? No. No, it's Skrelly. That's uh, uh, DJ Academics. That's it. Amaranth is the. Oh, are you streaming right now, Charles? Yeah. Okay. I got you. Do like a normal selfie, man. Please. The one and only Amaranth. Ah, Nicole. Me too. Jesus Christ. What if that wasn't a filter? That was just her normal hair. <laughs> um. Do you know what realm you're in? Sulfurus. What is it? Sulfurus. S U L F U R A S. I don't see it. It's probably because you're playing live, not classic. Uh oh. There's two games. Separate yeah, you're in the wrong games. Game. How do I. You're in retail. Wait, what? 
there's two versions of, of the game. There's one from like 10 years ago, and then there's the one that's like the latest story. Do I have to buy the... It's no, you have to buy it. But you have to opt, you have to download it. It's a separate thing, I guess. Oh my god. I think it's in your Blizzard, uh, your Blizzard... What is it? Your Blizz.net app. I don't know why I gestured with my hand, but I did. Nobody sees that. You can stream. I could. Oh uh, my I god, see. what if I stream? Oh my god, what uh, if I stream and then I'm one of the hotties that Martin looks at on Twitch? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a dream. Oh, there we go. Somebody is calling me a simp. I'm absolutely a simp. I have no problem <laughs> with that whatsoever. But Puckin that's what's... Spade a spade. See, as a simp, I'm a simp who succeeds, though. I'm gonna fuck the shit out of this girl. You'll see. Why is streaming on Discord disabled here? Mm. That's what That's what successful simps do. I don't know if you call that a simp or not, but I have to simp out a little first. Then she'll be right around my little finger. Simp, simp, simp. She's 5'9", she's a little tall for me. That just means she can reach everything on the top shelf. That's it. <laughs> I was thinking that too. It's always a bonus. I tried to tell Matt he's a very, like, it's very exciting that he's, like, 5'5", five five and he can reach the second shelf without his toes. He's just like, I'm, like, not that much taller than you. Oh, God. It's like, take a fucking complicate! Be tall for two seconds. She's back. I am back, sugar. Did you miss me? I say try it. How much, how much did you donate to her? I've got one point done. It's not very pointy. I wish it was more pointy. Yeah, what do you simp to get the to draw on the attention? How do you how do you pull the Emmy? Super pointy anyways, right? Miss you too much. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. My Canadian I girl. I miss you too, sugar. <sighs> you know how much I need my sugar in my life? Espresso's also 30. Generic? It's I think it's its own uh, I like it. world. It's like, I'm not I'm like boomer. the young and dumb, but I'm also not too worried about sitting with my legs like this for Ooh. half an hour. <laughs> Got my shorts on. I think this was me leaning against my chair. Welcome, thanks for following. Okay. I think, yeah, we won't have a white stripe for a very long time, so there's just going to be a lot of brown crocheting. We can do it. I feel like I haven't seen all of The Lord of the Rings. Do you guys think it's worth a watch? And what's your best part of it? What's your favorite part of it? Thank you, Ruin Scope. Assuming that my hair is considered short. I consider it medium because, you know, it's not like pixie short. And then long, medium, short, short. Medium for sure. Yes, Martin. It's a medium. <laughs> I mean, the trilogy. I think so. <laughs> Being curious. I don't know a ton about Lord of the Rings. Simp, simp, simp. I'm just wondering whether it's like really simp, worth simp, getting simp. into. It's not 20 feet, right? It's not 20 feet. Simp on and <laughs> It's all about the uh, comparisons. <laughs> I mean, whose hair is 20 feet? We're not all Rapunzel's out here. <laughs> I'm 26 and I have no clue how to feel about it. Not even a feeling on it. Lord of the Rings books, 
movies, a show. Teach me your knowledge. I feel like it's books. Is it books? Welcome, 12th level serial killer. Welcome to stream. It's going okay. It's a, it's a Monday stream, right? Read The Hobbit. But that's not technically Lord of the Rings. Have you ever involved anything curious? with surgical instruments? I'm curious if mm -hmm. The Hobbit is Lord of the Rings. I follow the space. I'm pretty sure I read The Hobbit back in school. But I don't remember it. Do I own it? Mustafa, how are you doing? I'm okay. <laughs> I own it! I have the Hobbit! Martin, in jail. Well, you probably read a lot of books in jail, really. Okay, now we check. Ha! It has a mark. I have read this book. Go Scarlet! Okay, so since I have read The Hobbit, I can now move on to the other ones. 400, well done. Did you like the book? I have no clue. I don't remember it at all. What are your favorite books? Welcome, Excel Duck. My favorite books. Um, I like Dystopian Future. I like Fantasy. Like, I feel like it's stuff that I would like, but I don't remember it. Hey, After the Lord of the Rings, this... Not a big reader. Marillion. All right, Wrath of the Witch King, classic. I mean, you're recommending it. I it's good, but what's it about? <sighs> yeah, I think mine met is a zero, but I haven't looked at it too close. New song. Washington Street. I don't think you guys know the type of music I like. <laughs> Washington Street by Chorus Bondits. Chorus Bondits. Let's see if that shows up. Washington Square does. If you don't remember, it's hard to say if you like Lord of the Rings. It continues the story, so I'll have to read The Hobbit all over again, right? Peter Jackson's movies are worth the watch. Is this like... no. Peter Jackson's movies... what are they? So, should I be a priest? Should I be blood I'm holy, so... Jamming, jamming. Jammin? Death Knight? Druid, 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 Druid. 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 Druids are hard. Well, Hunter. That's a good match. That's good. Troll Hunter. Uh, I gotta match myself to be like the way I look IRL. Do we all have the uh, eyebrows? I think you can have one without. Alright, that basically looks like me. So I could skip the books and just watch the movies. Oh, shit. You choose the realm before you make your character. We will rock oh, I might have chosen, chosen the wrong realm. Let's do that. That sounds fun. How do I check what realm I'm in? You gotta go back. Oh, right. Uh. Right? Right? <sighs> Enjoy the original experience that they never change. Blue, watch the movies if you don't want to read. I like reading, Curious. I do like reading. Hazy One, thanks for being here. 
Have a good time on duty. We'll see you tomorrow. Like anime, no, actually. Not gotten into that at all. He also made Bad Taste and Brain Dead, which is quite nuts. Change Rom. Oh, do I get to keep this character? The book has some different no. for us is locked. But I could just watch the films. Population locked, be eh? faster If I'm going for speed. Really? But it's not all about speed. You don't want to finish it. That's because it's, because it's full. Yeah. Jeez. How many servers are they down to? It was like 12 servers? I live under a rock Jedi. You this is just for classic, so. Yeah, just for, yeah, that's what I'm saying, just for rap. Like, okay. they only have that. Welcome, welcome, as well. They very recently like combined some servers. Gotcha. Um, I quit before for a new state in any game, so this is a single map. I'm putting it through this, like, I was spotted by a bunch of things here, a lot of fun. Only players who have characters in this realm are currently allowed to create characters. How do I play with you? That's lame. I could start a new character on a different realm. What's your level? 33. Oh, don't do that for me. Usually meant to be happy, yeah. meant to be light. I like the battle, like, like the uh, PvP stuff on the island. I uh, can't fun. remember what they were. The PvP was fun. <laughs> I did it really good. Like, uh, I don't know, it was the only thing I ever maxed out the reputation for. Maybe we should switch to Adele. Oh my god, this music. So, we can go to Maladap? Which is a new population? Or we can go to Earth Fury, West Pole, Windseeker? Follows the name of the Alliance land if you want to go Alliance. When you pick um, a new realm this one's good, um, and make a new character, just let me know and I'll join. Yeah! Okay. Let's go! Okay. Five and an increase, right? That's what I said? Yes, I did. I know what I'm doing. Probably, maybe, hopefully. So I think it was determined that if I wanted to get into Lord of the Rings, I can skip the reading and just go to the movies. Welcome, thanks for joining today. Is crochet easy to learn? I think so. I think it's pretty easy. It's just like the same thing over and over in general. Once you figure out how to hold it, you just kind of go and go and go. One, two, three, four, five, increase one. Some of Del's songs deal with heartbreak and are sad. Hazy <laughs> Daisy just crank it till that. Yeah, not all of Adele is great. It's true. Thunder! <laughs> For your serious question, it means I was born this way. Maybe it's chance. Maybe I was born this way. Welcome. Thanks for joining. So easy Canadian to do it. Screw you, Jedi. <laughs> Apparently she can't do it very fast. Mom smitten. Oh, messed it up. Discord still here? Fix it. Yeah, we can it. It really helps if you like yeah. a bit more. You get smit yeah, but you get smitten every like If you month. are male and you were born male and are currently male, Say it again? You, you get smitten every month. Yeah. That's my problem. Mm-hmm.
a really great TV show. I would definitely watch it. It's a Martin Trelli dating television show. Yeah. Like a reality TV show. Try living it, unfortunately. <laughs> How they used to have with, like, uh, Flav yeah, and Flav, yeah. Then your mom could sign up. Oh! Now that would be a <laughs> Your mom would be on season one. Oh, got him. We're gonna have to dig her up. <clears throat> Flavor Flav. It's actually just hosted by Nathan for you. And Nathan Fielder. I don't know who that is. You don't know Nathan for you? Oh my gosh. Oh my Sorry. gosh. Missing out on he's probably the most famous Canadian person there is. I mean you would be lost me at Canadian person. I'm Mark Messier. <laughs> PTSD drug that won't work most likely. What makes you think it's not gonna work? Eh, mechanism. medicines. Why did they take so long to make the ketamine in the nasal form, nasal spray form? Uh, was it just a, like a, a trial, a trial thing? Is ketamine no, it was not long. I mean, from, so long. It wasn't that long from, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't that long from Carlos Zarate and the Yale group's discovery that it was a potent and rapid antidepressant that it was sent into clinical trials by both my company as well as Johnson & Johnson. I want to say Zerade published, I'll go to PubMed real quick. Let's see. The new PubMed kind of sucks. Let's see. Publication date. Okay. When did he first discover this? I want to say 2007. So that was not. 2006. Arch Archives General Psychiatry. IV ketamine. Very large antidepressive effect. Uh, the Yale group probably did it before then. 2009. Was the marketing for these SSR, SSR and everything else just so much better? Or? No, this is, I mean, this went really fast. I mean, from 2006, I want to say J&J &J was in the clinic with their spray in 20, 2011. So they spent a couple of years thinking about it and doing it. But this was a really small study too. It was 17 patients. It was remarkable. Then I um, 
then a group at Mount Sinai replicated it. Um, I talked to a bunch of those doctors. Um, yeah, but the first inkling it was starting to work was uh, mid-2000s, 2005 to 2010. And then by the next decade, people were pretty gung-ho about it. So it went, it went pretty quickly. Are you familiar with John, Dr. John C. Willie, the guy, he did the float tanks and stuff? No. He, he like, couldn't claim the ketamine. He did, like, massive doses of ketamine in the sensory deprivation chamber that he had invented, and it cured him of his cluster migraines or something like that. But he was, like, always wearing, like, a plush red tracksuit, like a bowler tracksuit, and a coonskin hat everywhere he was going. He's like a doctor. Sounds like a lunatic. I want to say he worked for the CIA for a while, but the video, there's like YouTube videos of him being interviewed, it's insane. He took the PCP, ketamine, and looks like Yeah, it sounds like Looney Tunes. But the sensory, if you've never done one of the flow tanks, like, try it out one day. Yeah, I think I'll stay away from that. The sensory deprivation, you never tried it before? Have I tried a sensory deprivation tank? No, I have not. <laughs> Sounds, sounds pretty exotic. Yeah, I think I'll I'll probably pass on that one. Try it. Do you know about that new uh, antidepressant with uh, it's combining uh, bupropion and dextromethorphan? Yeah. Do you think that has any promise? It, like uh, actually, for, like uh, I haven't looked at the trials in a while. It's. Uh, but not really. It's always good to have new options, you know. But yeah. it's amazing the cannabidiol is uh, becoming a blockbuster. For uh, epilepsy. I'm not a big believer in Dextro doing much of anything. Other than robo tripping, I suppose. Yeah, no, Neil deGrasse Tyson said he doesn't want anything like any chemical or anything interfering with his natural mind. Yeah, I, that's exactly what I mean when I talk about these yeah. nerds that, you know, are going crazy on amphetamines and other drugs that they think they can modulate their intelligence with. It's embarrassing. Uh, if you're blessed enough to be intelligent as it is, you know, you shouldn't be trying to augment it. It takes, first of all, it's, I mean, it's really, uh, uh, what do you want to, how do you call it, uh, insecure. A crush. Yeah, to, to think that you want to, I mean, you need to, uh, you know, what's wrong with your mind state as it is? You're talking about at best a couple percent percentage points of performance, you're not going to double your intelligence or something, so it's sort of a ridiculous. I mean, that's what they were claiming is that the side effects of that one, the MCM that he was allegedly taking, was causing him to have risk of her. Right. So dopamine uh, processes with his risk for the tolerance. Yeah, I mean dopamine will do that. That's literally our risk molecule, you know. homeschool your children whenever you do have children eventually? I um, probably don't have, wouldn't have the time to do it, but um, I don't have a problem with homeschooling per se, but I mean... Yeah, I mean, maybe not you personally, like homeschooling your kids, but having them homeschooled with a teacher or something. I don't know, that seems like too much special treatment. Sent them to the private school. 
Yeah, that's still too much. Part. I'm I'm gonna be the best hands-off dad you've ever seen. <laughs> like, kids should be kids. They shouldn't be sat on top of and you yeah, know, disciplined sure, to death. You, know, you discipline a kid too much, they end up being a huge rebel, and it causes all kinds of maladjustment. You have to have just the amount of freedom and just the right amount of guidance. You're supposed to guide the child, not live their life for them or something like that. Yeah, definitely. But it's not easy Absolutely. being a parent. I mean, that's very, very tricky. So it's not like I have the answers or something like that. You know, when you have a child, you love and care for them so much, you're afraid something bad will happen to them. And you sometimes can inflict more pain than you realize by trying to be helpful you end up being hurtful and that it also depends on the mind state of the parent which isn't always great you know parents are still people they have troubles and issues with their life that will often bleed into their child's life because it's like a relationship like any other relationship you, know, you may lash out against your children for something you think they're doing but it's really yourself being upset with yourself you know uh, you're upset with, uh, I don't know, something going on in your life. Do you think that being... Upset with my fucking flat tire. Oh. Those kids. It's Zubu's fault. Withhold it two... is. It's all your fault, Zubu. <laughs> Withhold the tuna. No. <laughs> no tuna for you. No. I didn't do oh, those good answers, Rels. What's that? Daddy, your your parenting concepts, good answers. Yeah, I mean, what do I know? You know. Well, that, that's what I've been doing so far is basically that. And whenever you fuck up, you calm down and talk to the kid and say like, "This is me, and this is where I went too far." And here's, it helps a lot. Also, my kid can hang like with discussions with adults now because of it. It makes me so proud. Good. Like a oh my god, I love her. Song. She actually reminds me of my high school girlfriend, that might be why. And uh, this other girl I simped hard for. <laughs> man knowing what he wants mm -hmm. and aggressively going after it. Right. Definitely. That's what I do. So I'm the king of the jungle. Okay. Oh, they stopped doing that. And yeah, you don't do alpha males no more. Dog. Toxic masculinity. <laughs> I'm better than Andrew Tate. There you go. That's right. That's why. That's that's the kind of hotness that Amy is is about. I bet you. Yeah, I'm I'm the top G. No big dog. Because I don't have to say I'm the top G. It's just implied. So you're Mufasa. So who's Scar? Uh, Andrew. Uh, Andrew Tate. <laughs> he has to remind you all the time about his Bugatti. There goes the ball. My That's why I got a Bugatti. You don't have a Bugatti. All right, dude. We heard you the first 55 million times. Stupid car.
There's a crypto version of um, freaking Andrew Tate named uh, Richard Hart. And I had the displeasure of talking to him briefly. He was so, he was so cringy. Oh my God. And the displeasure. Look at his, his way. Go to his website. I think it's richardhart.com. Holy shit, it's so cringy. Art is a force for good in this world. There you go, you found it. He owns the world's largest cut diamond. Yeah. And he has the world's mm -hmm. smallest. He's got the world's smallest cut penis at the same time. What's the one in chat? I, that's what I'm gonna hit him with. I'm gonna say, Richard, you, <laughs> is it is it true you have? The world's largest cut diamond. He's gonna be like, yes, well, I'm the top of the I'm saying, is it also true? Do you have the world's smallest cut penis? <laughs> He's gonna fucking die. Straight face the entire time too. You have to like I'm, commit to it. I'm gonna hit him with that on the fucking, literally on like uh, some big Twitter Spaces thing or something. Do you have any status updates for the the, the Twitter thing? Uh, Elon is, has a lot of issues right now. He's going through, so I don't really uh, blame him for focusing on those instead of me on Insignificant. Yeah. Are you a fan of the show Silicon Valley? Huh? Are you a fan of the show Silicon Valley? I've never seen it. It, it sort of came out as I was going to prison. It's a show. And, uh, it's, really good. it's pretty good. I like Mike Judd. Yeah, I never got to really embrace it. So many memes. In 2017, Richard predicted that Bitcoin would reach 20K when it was only 5,000. He called, mm -hmm. and he called the Bitcoin. What's up? But it's so I just wanted to see if Martin, uh, have, you seen, uh, have you seen Oz? <laughs> no. It's so funny because uh, that's his like claim to fame is like... Nightmare show. You know that he called the top or bottom in Bitcoin, and it's so weird when you talk to him. Like it, it's clear he doesn't know anything about asset prices. He was like, "These things happen in cycles. Like it's three years up, one year down, and it's like what? Three years up, one year down. Just because it's been that way doesn't mean it's going to continue to be that way. It's so that's such a stupid kind of like perspective. Like yeah, crypto has gone three years up, one year down. Okay, like twice. <laughs> so now it's going to be that way forever." How does that make sense? Does he have it? Does he have any experience doing anything investing, or does he just have a really big guy? I think he he, he really wants to be taken he seriously. He has the power. <laughs> pathetic. Um, he has a bullet point of what is this? He makes he did he make this website himself? Man. What are you guys' favorite Christmas chat. Another good question. Uh, Richard Hart makes the world a better place. <laughs> he does more to prevent scam and scams and improve the lives of other people than most do. For instance, which of these topics have you or anyone you know made a video on? How many years have they been getting views? And here's his bullet points. It's like 15 things men and women are supposed to act different. Find agreements in politics. Stop gambling and trading. <laughs> <It's> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, getting your, getting more people to make positive videos, stop gaming, start a business, reducing military spending, fix schools, fix democracy. Oh, thank you, Richard. Where's kid any of this? Thank you for telling us to reduce military spending. You, <laughs> you really, you really know. So appreciated. Tell us, please tell us exactly how much military spending is the right amount. Uh, here's one you can work on, Martin. Give better apologies. Uh, you can oh. do what you already <laughs> should. You should prevent hey. <laughs> Promote medical research, be disciplined, be happy. Right. Have you made any videos about being happy? I know, he really he's, he's got to figure it figured out. <laughs> what a weirdo. 
Okay, I'm looking at his site. He seems to be the greatest person ever. Right? How cringy. Can can I? <laughs> We make an appreciation site for him specifically. Hey, uh, Martin, could you could you walk through the technical analysis you're doing for Jazz right now? This is not technical analysis. Technical analysis is when you do a like a stock chart bullshit thing. Uh, um, so what is it that you're doing? This is a fundamental analysis, I guess. Are you like projecting out to 2023? Uh, I'm gonna project out to infinity actually. Um, Shout out to Rumbles with real rum. One Yeah, so the hardest thing with pharmaceuticals typically is just getting the curve of the revenue right, which um, heavily depends on patent expiry, which is what I'm looking up now for this product, which is uh, relatively new. It's called uh, Zywave, and it's intended to replace Jazz's biggest product called Zyram. Uh, Zyram's been around for a long time. It's uh, also known as GHB. Uh, Zyram's been around for a long time. It's uh, also known as GHB. Zyram's been around for a long time. Sorry, was that an echo? Um, yeah. Yeah, so Zyram is um, taken for people with nar narcolepsy. It's obviously got an illicit use as well, but um, Zyram was approved in 2002. It never went generic, interestingly, because of a wrinkle that, well, some people who know the backstory know, I'll probably just, you know, not discuss it too much because I'm involved in it a little bit, but basically there was this idea that you could conceivably extend your patent life. Um, um, by, 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 basically the, the, the drugs like Xyrem are so dangerous for people to take that they have to be controlled very carefully because their release is, is very, very risky. Um, so every single person that takes Xyrem has to be carefully monitored because again these drugs are, are really toxic. What's the generic name for that? Because I work in drug delivery. Sodium oxabate, also known as GHB, gamma hydroxybutyrate. So Xyrem is just a very dangerous uh, medicine so they have a so-called REMS program and the REMS program limits the uh, distribution, but at the same time, it limits access for generics to get samples to make generics of. So it's very like companies have learned that, oh, well, nobody can get a copy of my pills, then nobody can make a generic, and there's sort of a win-win, uh, or I guess a second benefit, if you will. Um, and that, you know, there's a bit of that in my FTC case uh, for what it's worth. So, um, the, when, a patent, when patents expire is sort of up to the, there's a bit of a interpretation there. You know, they have patents going all the way out to 2037. Most patents are not valuable, however, will not protect your product. Um, my guess is Zywave will probably go generic um, at some point, uh, possibly because these patents are challenged, possibly just because the patents expire. Um, so you just have to sort of get a sense for that. Um, I'm gonna end of life it around 2023. Um, Epide Epidiolix is really interesting because I'm not sure you can make cannabidiol that easily. Um, let me see if I get the structure. Yeah, you may not be able to. Make Isn't it just extracted from cannabis? Yeah, but. Yeah, this isn't too hard to make. I'm just trying to make sure that you know. The, pro the manufacturing process isn't too complicated. 
you would make it synthetically. Because I assume they make it synthetically, but I'm not sure. It's just very fatty, that's all. I mean, it's not that big a deal. The log piece has to be enormous. Let's see, I'm guessing five. Any guesses? Uh, it's the logo. I'm trying to get log P. Six. It's a high log P, I'll tell you that. It's got almost no polarity. It's like just a bunch of fat. <laughs> uh, it's got some polarity uh, the right places, I guess. It's just the aromatic rings that are really giving to the polarity. No, I mean, it's just the lack of it's fucking... Got that, that fatty branch. Lack of hetero atoms, too. I mean, it's two hetero atoms, the whole molecule. It's amazing, huh? Isn't that wild? How often do you see that? I guess a lot in plants. Yeah, <laughs> not so much in medicine. <laughs> yeah, a lot in uh, oil. <laughs> oil like compound. Yeah. Almost like we're gonna get your ball in my web. I was gonna say it, it, it almost reminds me of sterile sort of the same it's obviously very different from the, the sterile, but it feels like you could if you joined you almost can get a, a sterile from this or maybe from a sterile you could get to here. I wonder if the synthetic route, well, synthetic route for sterols are very, very difficult. Oh, is she leaving? So <laughs> am <laughs> No, uh, her name's Scarlet. Oh, no. No, she's not leaving, thank God. I need to eat something tonight. Oh, she has a little nose ring. I, I don't know girls who do that. I don't know. Oh, you don't like that? Not my thing. Yeah, I don't want to do either. I'm not a fan either. Well, y'all suck. I got a nose ring. You got a steak. Chase, you know. Yeah, she's No. Just like unnecessary. Yeah, it's like it's easier to take care of than eat things, and it doesn't get caught in any. Yeah, I can do something like that. Amy. We can do crossfit bikini. Amy's uh, this a porn star now. We'll do that. <laughs> I told you, you could make you get that in. You get the OnlyFans and cool out. Yeah, I think Amy's like, get a lot. Of, a lot of dudes right. after her. But they're not you. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm not them. Amy can sing too. I'm gonna put this close. Very talented. Can see. Oh. Wait, why is Cyrus so dangerous? Oh, so Zyrim will put you to sleep um, very quickly and easily, so that's why GHB has its effect. And, um, you know, people who take Zyrim, they'll, they have narcolepsy or cataplexy, so they, they can't get a good night's rest without Zyrim. And, um, but the problem is they can't wake up either. So during the, their sleep, they're basically, you know, just very, 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 very hard to wake up. So if there's a fire or something like that, they really wouldn't wouldn't be able to wake up. So you got to tell your neighbor you're on Zyrum if. Uh... What were they giving Michael Jackson? That was an injection. Propofol. That's right. Propofol. Yeah, a bit different. Do you still get REM sleep when you're out on the drugs? I think you. I think do. your brain's just off. You think it happened? Sorry. You think that it does happen? What? Or REM sleep? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's the point. Although I haven't studied it that closely. I know he's, 
you know, if you follow jazz really, really closely, you go to like the sleep conferences and stuff like that for sleep medicine. Uh, so epi Epidiol X will probably go generic as well, since it's a small molecule. Cannabidiol is not. Where would they produce that? In a place like India or something? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's, uh, I remember the old company, GW Pharma. Jazz is pretty smart when it comes to buying assets like this, but, you know, it's, the orphan drug exclusivity expires after seven years, so after 2025, they're, it's sort of fair game for a generic. Uh, they We're going to see have, it on the market. Interesting. They have a ton of patents, but I'm, I'm not sure, I mean, they have a ton of patents. Holy moly, fuck. Could those be contested in court? Yeah. Those patents because it's a natural molecule and actually occurring? It depends on each each claim. So usually I do a little claims analysis, but in this case, there's uh, significant 20 of them. Um, yeah. Usually settled. So, but. Yeah, do, do they just have cannabidiol patented? No excipients or anything? Yeah, I'll, I'll show you what they. I'll make a little. That's what the whole point of this file is. They, they have stuff like uh, probably a, a different array of patents. For instance, one of the common ones is uh, method of use. So method of use is the treatment of Drave syndrome and lennox gastaut syndrome, which is, yep, that's the first patent they got. And it's, uh, in this case, somewhat impressive that, um, and it was unexpected, I would say, that this would work. Now, on the flip side, it was known to some extent, from a drug called Charlotte's Web, it was on, yeah. I believe it was even on 60 Minutes at one point. Yeah, it was a Vice 60 Minutes. That was a strain right. that they developed in Colorado. So a method of use for epilepsy conceivably could be um, um, taken, a uh, patent could be invalidated because of prior art. So let me see if I can. Uh, check it out here. Yeah, so they, sure. it's her name Drive It Syndrome, Charlotte Web, or something like that. No, like no, I, I, it's got to be in something like a PubMed. So in 2017, uh, let me see, cannabidiol for Drave. Let me try that. Cannabidiol Drave. Um, and let's see what the earliest date was. And you can see 2013. 2014, 2014, there was no shortage of analysis for this stuff before GW made their application. Gotcha. Um, but they made an app in 2014. Interesting. They did make an application in 2014, in, in June of 2014, which is around the time this stuff got um, got sort of got popular, so that's pretty good, I would say. And it was a surprise that these drugs worked because there was no double-blind placebo control study. Um, the Charlotte Charlotte looks like it was around June, May, June of 2014. They filed this yep. patent in June. Um, and again, you could argue that without the double blind study that you didn't have uh, real evidence that it worked. They, they had to produce double blind study. But that's a tough one. And I'm sure they have other similar patents with, like you said, formulation patent, method of use patent, so forth and so forth. Let's look at another one. Another use patent there. That's going to be a, the same patent, it looks like. It gets issued serially. Looks like three in a row, actually. All right, so it's four, four of the patents are all the same, really. Uh, maybe five, actually. So a little unusual. It's typically not what happens, but... Let's see. Use of cannabinoids in the treatment of epilepsy. All right, here's the next substantive patent. Let's see. 
again, use of cannabinoids. It's funny because whenever people try to talk to me about weed, this is the only example I can come up with of a successful application of cannabinoids in medicine. And nobody's making money on it, really. What's that? Is anybody making any money off of this specific jazz? Jazz making application? A no, no, not no, not jazz. Just like this application of this patent, like you, there is efficacy, but like, is anybody making money on it? Jazz. Like, That's all this drug is used for. Yeah. Yeah, it's a billion dollar product. It's doing really well. This is the first and, to my knowledge, only application of marijuana in medicine. Uh, someone's asking multiple patents uh, for the same thing. It's complicated. Um, um, you can patent. You can make many inventions around a product. There's a lot of different classifications of patents. The method of use is you, you discovered a new use for sort of an existing chemical. Uh, you can also formulate that chemical in an innovative way. Um, let's see what else they have in store here. So, or something. Yeah, so far they have only have method of use patents, which I would argue, again, the patent office gives a lot of uh, excessive patents and you know if you get another claim issued with the same from the same application you get another patent even though you didn't really you got another claim so uh, anyway let's see okay here we go processes processes and extraction of active here substances and enriched extracts from natural products so this is probably not going to be a reasonable patent because ultimately okay so it looks like they hmm, maybe it could be let me think is that a closed loop system that the that the diagram is or what is that i'm not sure but i'm just trying to look like a sox that extraction i'm trying to think about the other products i know like this and how they fared with ip this, this reminds me of Premarin. But it also depends on... Yeah, this is tricky. So... If What's this the tricky part about it? Well, so it's, it's, it's sort of the way the FDA treats it. So sometimes there's guidance documents let me see. Ah, here we go. Draft guidance on generic cannabidiol. Okay, I'm looking last year. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, hold on, hold on. They may not require BRM. That's what they're calling biological raw material. So if they require BRM, I would say there won't be a generic. I wouldn't touch it if I were a generic company. That's a disaster. But if I could just make the one product, right, uh, cannabidiol, just the molecule, that'd be fine. You would have to monocrop it or have a specific single strain that you would use if oh, you're going to have any. This, this would be so, so difficult. It's a bit, notice they say here, if the API is from a botanical raw material source, the following criteria are recommended. It doesn't say that it has to be. Uh -huh. Right, so... This is really tricky. I would imagine Jazz will say, um, Jazz will say that their plant-based, if they have a plant-based mechanism, which I'm assuming they do because of this patent, but may not be true, I don't know. 
I have to look at that from a different website. If they do have a plant system, then they were, they're going to say that the product of the plant system is special and that, you know, you can't just copy it. Yeah. And that'll, you know, kind of, that's what sort of Premarin did. Whew. Yeah, I wouldn't, I certainly think the generic is more complicated than it. It's possible, at least, that it's more complicated than... Uh, <coughs> Let me see. That seems counterintuitive that a generic from a natural product would be harder to genericize. Yeah, you can make, a, well, you would need the same plant and grow it in the same conditions. For it to be labeled. Generic. Yeah, and then you have to prove that it had the same API. And the problem is these like minor active ingredients, if there are any, this patent sort of suggests that this is pure and that there are only trace amounts of THCA and CBDA and this is all CBD, but there are, it seems like there are, there's a mixture of cannabinoids that um, they would argue, if I were them, it contributes to the efficacy and therefore, you know, unless you replicate the entire mass spec, which would be very hard to do, um, if our generic company certainly is, wouldn't want to do Is that. it even mass spec? They just say gastromatography. They could just be doing FID. Whatever it is, you know, they, they would want to show that you'd have to replicate all of the constituents of the product uh, by any anal analytic method. And that, you know, if there are any minor contributing constituents, that that's part of the product. That's not an impurity. So here's their, and, and interestingly, they have um, these specs. The first one that's interesting is um, not more than 0.1% THC. These are potential organic Im impurities, uh, but there's other impurities and presumably other, a lot of this is redacted, funny enough, um, by FDA. You dank to discern. Yeah, exactly. They, <laughs> they, <laughs> too dank to discern. They actually look like they wanted to revise the THC limit, and they redacted how much they wanted to revise it to. Probably like two notches down, like point zero one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They, they, were, they were. It's just arbitrary, like the actual testing, the percentage point yeah. three, point oh seven, point one. The best. It is so arbitrary. It, yeah, it, it is arbitrary. They assume that all the drugs are going to have the same response, and they don't. It's really interesting. They, they did have the botanical review team from FDA, so that's got to be the uh, manufactured from there. That uh, source, let's see here. Yellow, crystalline, so forth, produced from cannabis sativa. So there you go. It's definitely plant. Plant. Uh, plant-based or plant-derived. Uh, okay, so that definitely makes it more complicated. It's uh, whenever you don't have something that's purely synthetic, you you're sort of creating this <laughs> very difficult uh, product to to say that you made an exact copy of. Consistent production. So, so they do extract it, right? They don't synthesize it. That's right. Yeah, this is completely plant-based. It looks like. Do you, Do you think someone who could synthesize it would be? Well, like, so this uh, is. It's really funny you say valuable. that because this is what happened with generic Premarin a long time ago. Premarin is this weird mixture derived from horse urine. Interestingly, uh, pregnant oh. horse urine is a great way to get uh, synthetic estrogens. And it's an estrogen sort of complex. And Premarin was given uh, for years to women like water, thanks to Pfizer's marketing. Or this is American home products at the time, prior to Pfizer, their acquisition by Pfizer. And so basically there's uh, they, they they gave so much estrogen to cause breast cancer. 
Um, so Premarin's now not recommended as much anymore. Uh, it's sort of used for hot yeah, flashes. Now they make Ibrantz. Well, they yeah. make some horse pee, but not too much horse pee. Well, it's taken from horse pee and extracted and, you know, carefully, uh, <laughs> you know, carefully made into a pill. But it's still estrogen, and uh, generics tried to copy it, and uh, AHP or, or Wyeth or Pfizer now, the successor, you know, basically said you can't copy this stuff because how do you know that you're getting the right combination? How do you know that you're, you know, identically? I mean, if a generic is supposed to be an identical copy, then you've got to go get some horses. <laughs> and there have been cases of the opposite, though, and I'm trying to rack my brain for a few. Um, if you were the drug company producing the, the raw material, would you want to then just license the plants to other potential? No, I think you wouldn't want to give it to anybody and be the sole source. Let me give it a name. Yeah, I'd say this is my trade secret. <coughs> right? I mean, why horse pee out of any other animal? But I mean, that's what one thing so they, they, just have, they just have Terminator crops or whatever. Yeah, no, no, it's that's in pharma. You gain a lot of economic advantage by being the only player. Uh, yeah. Once a drug goes generic, you kind of all the elasticity disappears. Something I know a little bit about. Um, all right, so yeah, you have all these different conformance of principles to article of botanic order gen like the, the FDA does not see drug uh, plant-based drugs every day you know it's been a little bit a bit unusual so you know there's a uh, semi-synthetics but this is like purely natural product basically highly purified best described as a highly purified drug substance from a plant source the drug substance is neither a botanical drug substance nor considered blank they redacted it I'm guessing they were saying neither a botanical drug substance nor considered synthetic. And the amount redacted is like the perfect space for synthetic, <laughs> the word. Very funny. It's hmm. crazy. Yeah, most companies will ask for redactions on their drug manufacturing process and call it trade secrets. And the FDA is pretty lenient about handing that over, which I, I understand. Makes sense. So here we go, cannabidiol, 21 carbon, terpenophenolic, ter terpenophenolic phenolic compound. This is a terpene, right? Yeah, probably. Terpenophenol. Oh, that sounds right. That sounds right. Phenol. I, my PhD th uh, thesis was on T. Oh, wow. Nice. I was looking at um, one of the phenols, uh, I forget which one, that everybody thought could have uh, different cognitive stimulating effects. Oh, gosh. All right, let's see. There's an environmental exception or something that's funny. Ecotoxological concern due to the lipophilicity. So we were talking about log P earlier. Funny. That's some some stone dance fish, I guess. <laughs> yeah.
cannabis is used throughout the U.S. and is used illicitly in widespread locales. What? But that's a federal crime. <laughs> Impossible. It still is. <laughs> So if I had, let's say, 10 tons of biomass that's 20 to 25% CBD and had it extracted, I wouldn't be able to sell it as a generic. I wouldn't, could, because of the formulation, because of that. Oh, you'd have to labeling. go through such generic approval process. You'd have to go through gotcha. the HANDA. You'd have to formulate it and do a bioequivalent study and things like that. And how much would a bioequivalent study that would be a couple hundred thousand dollars, or how much would that cost you? Think? Usually, usually a million or two. A million or two. The manufacturing would be another couple million. So you could conceivably make a fortune making a generic uh, epidiolex. The problem with that is that you'd have to overturn all those patents in court. Um, and if you did that, you'd also be helping your other, you know, competitors. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But assuming you had the supply and everything ready to go, you could you could do well. Do Crypto you know face, there already is a suit against them for this specific patent? There will be. Um, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, once, once you know, it, yeah, that's a whole interesting process too. We're just talking about the the basics of the generic industry. Give me one second though. Crypto face, thank you so much for reaching out. Um, you can email me martin at martinscrelly.com, and we will talk there. I'd love to join you on your channel. Uh, Ricardo, thanks for subscribing. Yeah, so I, I, I like generics. I mean, they're, it's a nice business. But it's, um, you have to get, you have to be really kind of uh, careful because, you know, you can make a five or $10 million investment in your generic and then lose it all or whatever it's it's a very risky business from that perspective and if you have 20 or 30 or 40 generics it's okay uh, but they'll also yeah. yeah and you, you they kind of average out as well sometimes you get a big hit sometimes you get you know a zero because your drug didn't copy exactly or, for whatever reason yeah the fda doesn't uh, approve it or whatever Yeah, a lot of um, a lot of redactions and all the interesting stuff. <laughs> so I guess it says that ah, interesting. Okay. They they kind of mentioning two two of the other well known. Huh. This is really good. So it says is not a botanical drug. Right. right. You you can synthesize it from yams. <laughs> Estrogen, yeah. They should have redacted that. <laughs> but it's really interesting. The term botanicals means products that include plant materials, like plant fiber algae or macroscopic fungi or combinations thereof does not include highly purified substances like paclitaxel for example is highly purified from from the yew tree um and that was one of the first chemos and bristol myers chopped down a lot of yew trees to make paclitaxel <laughs> it's very hard to make uh synthetically almost impossible and if you look at quite frankly the the elephant in the room, opioids, those are made semi-synthetically. So um, ultimately, you know, I sort of agree with this, that, you know, it's not a botanical drug, which makes it then very easy, quite frankly, to just make the synthetic and say, it's one API, <laughs> right? It's not, otherwise it would be, it wouldn't be cannabidiol. It would be like cannabis derived or cannabidiol extract. It's no, it's cannabidiol. 100 milligrams, <laughs> that's it. 
you know, so to me. From a manufacturer, like a producer. No, the, the, the price of this thing is so high mm -hmm. that I don't even think the synthetic versus natural is gonna make a difference from a product cost perspective. So I think that's really, it does say it controls growing, harvesting, and primary processing of it. And there is growing protocol and glass houses and all this stuff, but ultimately you don't need any of that if you can just make a synthetic, which that's a very easy synthesis. Where's the company, where is this, is this GW, this is GW's, or, or this yeah, is G Jazz? GW got acquired by Jazz. They're in Ireland. So one and the same. Uh, GW. I wonder if they're growing this product in Ireland or if it's- like I don't know where they're growing it, but, um, I think it might be in the UK where GW is based. They have the redacted growing protocol in here. <laughs> I'm sure they're not giving that out. Method of growing. There it is. You can see where no, not. Yeah, they're not going to say too much. But I think the fact that it's a drug substance is. There we go. Originally, Carl Linnaeus of Linnaeus, you know, that was like the first text taxonomy guy, described sativa in 1737. 1737? Lamarck was just another Lamarckian uh, evolution, right? He classified uh, it separately. That's so funny. So it's been around a long time. It's hard to... <laughs> wow. Hard to uh, claim that you patented, you know, any of these patents should be so really... Insane, isn't it? It's like, how are they going to get away with that? Yeah, I mean, you can make new inventions of old things. I mean, you discover that cannabis would be a great rocket fuel, you would uh, get a patent for that. It's not expected uh, by those skilled in the art. Who who has the patent for the cannabis-based lube that I wonder? I wonder if that's a, a, a privately held one. <laughs> Well, remember, they do expire after 17 years. Previous human experience. The oldest known Have record of cannabis use. Have you ever been to a, a grow operation, Martin, or, or Sorry? kind of like cancer stuff? Say it again. Have you ever been to like a big grow operation no. or any sort of cannabis processing? No, not my thing. Um, cannabis uh, first written record of Chinese Emperor Shen Nong in 2727 BC. <laughs> Herodotus also mentioned cannabis use. Um, previous studies have utilized a wide range of oral doses of CBD and THC for epilepsy um, and treatment resistant schizophrenia. But if you look at this, let's see. It's also schizophrenic. Oh, there we go. Hypnotic and anti-epileptic effects of cannabidiol. J. Clint Pharmacol, 1981. So that kind of kills any patent. <laughs> Chronic administration of cannabidiol to epileptic patients. Pharmacology, 1980. Holy moly. That's way before Charlotte's <laughs> Web. And so this is what the lawyers would pull up to try oh, to yeah. invalidate. I'd be patterns. shoving that in front of the judge, saying, "Your Honor, people have known this would work. These guys, these people aren't geniuses." And then, of course, the company will say, "Well, the patent office uh, gave us a patent," and you know, judges who do these cases know that that doesn't mean much. Um, but um, sometimes it'll be convincing, depending on the judge you get and stuff like that. But yeah, I mean, that is prior art. Um, again, the, the problem is the quality of prior art. You could say, well, so people thought it was true, but where was the double-blind placebo-controlled study? Um, but this extract... So remember, in patents, you can copy something without infringing. So you could say, that's great that they have this extract, but we don't need to use this patent because we don't make an extract. <laughs> so you could just design around that patent and the rest of these nine patents are, are toast because or eight patents are toast because of the prior art. So we got nine of nine of the patents are dead in my analysis. Patent ten <laughs> is another use patent. The other the other thing that, that I was interested about is that 
the this cannabinoid this this specific drug works better they say with THC or with other cannabinoids in sync like an entourage effect well where they work better yeah. the efficacy will, will they didn't be... do this that that wasn't the study and of course with the FDA you can't yeah. yeah you had a they would have a hard time doing that kind of trial but you know like they could adding person. just like 0.1% THC to that substance that probably would have created some regulatory complexity A lot of these are just additional claims to the same patent, so most of these are the same patent family, as they say. All use patents. Again, it, to some extent, it was surprising that that the the use was there. To another, on the other hand, it wasn't. So it's it's very hard to sort of. All right, another use patent. I mean, they don't stop with these use patents. And they'll say the patent examiner reviewed every piece of evidence and they concluded that the patent should be given. Why would they do that <laughs> if, if it wasn't a valid patent? Well, you know, they could be wrong. Use, use, use. Okay, we're almost done. There's a lot of different epilepsies, so it looks like they claimed each one. TSC, Drave, Lennox Gasto, and then they probably claimed, well, epilepsy in general, treatment resistant epilepsy, epilepsy when you use it in this amount. Um, you know, you can sort of keep that slicing and dicing, and every time you get a new claim issued by the examiner, you get a new patent if they don't issue them at the same batch. So like I got five or six patents out of the same my same one patent family filing, so. Oren uh, Davinsky is actually, I think an NYU professor, if I'm not mistaken. Must be a little fortune for NYU now. Another method uh, of use. Seems like we're getting to the formulation patent in a second here, but formulation patents are seldom uh, enforceable. There's nothing new about most drug formulations. Here, here's preparations. So, uh, why am I in Justia? Uh, I want to go to Google Patents. Well, this isn't right. Um, is it possible it's not in Google Patents yet? I don't know. Um, Go to the claims at the end here. All right, a CBD preparation comprising greater than or equal to 95% CBD uh, and the other cannabinoids uh, have this much ratio. Well, that's a good patent, but if the FDA doesn't require you to have the same amount, then you might be okay. Sort of that whole idea of, okay, well, the patent's valid, but we're not infringing that patent, so. We go by what the FDA requires us to do, so if we can make our drug without, you know, sort of uh, infringing, that's even better. It doesn't even matter if your patent's valid or not. All right, only four patents left. It, it almost all relates to the method of use, which, you know, focal seizures, another subset of epilepsy. Two patents left, and it's not looking good for GW here. Yep, treatment related. Okay, last one. And I'm sure there'll be more coming. Atonic seizures. 
All right, so yeah, I think I think somebody will make a generic to this thing. When exactly? Don't know, but. I'm gonna do, let's see, the orphan drug expires seven years from approval, so that's 2025. Yeah, let's see, I'll sort of model it like this. Finally, just admit that cannabis derived things are for, or it's like, how can they claim it's Schedule One? How can they still, with a straight face, that the marijuana is Schedule One narcotic? It's not just the DEA, it's uh, the FDA, too. The yeah, FDA as well. The FDA is no fan of this stuff. And they regulate food, drugs, and alcohol. <laughs> Are you still in New York, Martin? Yeah. I've had a, I mean, I'm from Boston. We've had a big biotech boom. Yeah. Cambridge, Kendall Square. Well, without the pipeline, I get jazz worth. $50 a share, which is almost exactly what it's trading at. <laughs> it's so frustrating. You spend hours and hours and hours working on these stocks, and then you see that the market is like basically exactly right with what you're thinking. Annoying, huh? Um, Some algorithms doing that? Yeah. Yeah. That's the key to... That's basically the key to... Uh, Financial analysis is, you know, most if most of the stocks you're looking at are fairly valued, you're kind of doing it right because the market's pretty efficient. You know, you're hoping to find a diamond in the rough every now and then, whether it's your perceived, whether it's your enhanced perception or it's uh, uh, in you know variant perception that the market you see something the market doesn't, or that you know just hard work and you find the one diamond in the rough. Um, you know, this forecast could be wrong if one of Jazz's pipeline drugs works out really well. I didn't personally think any of them looked very good, um, so I didn't include them in my model. But if, if this Orexin 2 agonist all of a sudden becomes a $2 billion product, this would be a really good investment. Um, conversely, if Zywave goes generic before 2033, this would be a good short. For example, if I just press delete here, you can see the NPV of the company drops from 150 to just 99, which is far less than the current price of 150. Um, but it wouldn't drop to zero, interestingly. Also, if uh, Epidiolix stays FDA approved and grows forever, instead of 150, the, the company would be worth 230, which would make it a pretty good investment. That might happen. I don't know for sure that Epidiolix will, will go generic uh, through synthetic route um, 
could very easily, you know, uh, not. So it depends on what happens here. But you know, on balance, it looks like it's fairly valued. Um, yeah, I think GME is uh, unfortunately not a good investment. <laughs> Are you familiar with the company Alchemies? Of course, yeah. And the, the end of the their the suspension? I, uh, in 2008, tried to buy Alchemies. Did you really? Yeah. Crazy. Two of my, I had two friends who, um, they were half brothers, but they were, they were selling, they were like the number one seller of Vivitrol through their rehab company. They were both former drug addicts and, uh, one of them actually relapsed and died. Couldn't get him some clean. But got thousands of people clean with Vivitrol with the shots. Yeah, he's making not, a lot of money doing it. It's not the perfect drug, but it certainly uh, is. Uh, it works. I mean, it's just not you know ideal. You know. Now Trexone. Yeah. I take that for alcoholism. <laughs> Do you get the shot, or you take it in the pill form? I, I take it in pill form. I do 50 mix a day, broken up over two, yeah, uh, two aliquots. It's an analog of naloxone, though, Narcan. Yeah. Yeah, those opioid antagonists kind of all work the same way, but, you know, Vivitrol is nice because it's in your bloodstream, you can't take it out. There's no skipping a dose, you know? They both, they both refused to take it, they were addicted to Suboxone. And like, didn't even have to use it anymore, so boxing, but they were like, psychologically, I feel like addicted to it. Yeah, Alchemies is right on my list here. Look at that. I think that compared to methadone or, or I'm sorry, methadone or, uh, or suboxone, I feel like it's a better, or it, a healthier alternative, but I guess it's a, it, it really matters about what the person, how the person's gonna conduct themselves on the drug rather than the efficacy. Yeah, the, the way it works is it, it basically blocks your, um, your like dopamine receptors from taking the drug so that you don't feel that high when you do it. Yeah, which can lead to somebody that's doing heroin or, or fentanyl to try to do more and more thinking it's not working. And then they died. Yeah, that's true. That's sad though. I'm, I'm sorry that happened to one of your buddies. Yeah, he he started like first he was doing co cocaine again, and then he switched to crack, and then like three months after that he was dead. And then his brother moved, I think, back to Pittsburgh, where their family's from. But like 90, I think 90% of their graduating class, he died when he was 40, I think 40 or 41. This was two years ago, two or three years ago. And I think 90% of his graduating high school class had died of overdose in Pittsburgh and in, in PA. I was like, holy shit. That's crazy. I make uh, some financial apps. Um, let me see what I'm working on from a coding perspective. You're gonna laugh. I have a suite of scientific programming tools that my friend and I have made. A uh, few Al, thanks for following me. I have a financial app. Uh, I, um, let's see, I'm working on various uh, gambling applications and video games basically. Um, I'm working on uh, uh, emulator software for the web. Uh, I'm learning Solidity and working in, in that a little bit. Um, then I might make like a, a MUD style video game uses, using Solidity. So that's what's on my to-do list at the moment, a lot of stuff. Yeah, we definitely have uh, something similar to the next stake. I think it's better though, and it's gonna be better in the long run. Um, but you know, Rome wasn't built in a day. Well, I can't focus on all that, it's definitely true. I have a nice size team, here's what Monk looks like. 
Um, it's interesting because the analysis you just did for Jazz, uh, you, you were saying you spent hours on it and then you find out that the market already has <laughs> everything priced in. Yeah. Like, isn't there a good way to automate that? Uh, you do competitive, you have like uh, user research and competitive there you analysis. Go. Thank you, Sarah. You. Yep. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, it's not easy to automate uh, what sort of Warren Buffett or other fundamental investors do. It's uh, it takes a little bit of expertise and time to go through each product and make your human sort of judgment on on the product. How did you code this? Uh, so, so this is actually made by my colleagues. Uh, it's a React app, um, mostly. It's uh, let's see, end to end JavaScript. Um, yeah, I, I'm sort of involved in some of the game design and, and mostly on the business side. But I am also making, trying to make some of my own gaming um, software that'll live on the Monk platform. So, you know, it's, uh, oh, missed Monk. Um, so I'm looking at uh, like a sort of old history of games, looking at Elwin Burlakamp's papers and, and books uh, and uh, other kind of like combinatorial game theory sort of work to try to sort of see isomorphisms uh, between most of these games. Um, there's a lot of really interesting, um, really, really interesting sort of uh, things you can do in this space and you know, look forward to sort of unveiling some of them. For now, the, the sites, it's a really fun system. It's just very similar to the games that are out there now, so. Yeah, React is pretty cool. I've been learning web dev on the side. Martin, weren't you doing like graphics programming or something? I thought I recall seeing you do like cubes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm very interested in that stuff. So um, I'm not a digital artist. Um, which limits my ability, but I, I do care a lot about the things that digital artists can do and putting them in on the web especially is my the most important thing to me. That's in my general thesis in life is that the web's the OS of the future. Um, and so, you know, I, I'm, I'm interested in things like 3JS and other platforms to put all kinds of things on the web, but it's, uh, you know, they're not... Uh, it's, it's hard, you know, I'm not a graphics expert. I mean. Yeah, me neither. I like just found out about Shader Toy two weeks ago. <laughs> so let's see. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested in VR too. I was one of the first developers for Oculus. <laughs> not an employee, a first uh, SDK recipient. Um, oh, and they were giving them an out, like if, if they were like, oh, are you using this? Hell yeah, here you go. Yep, yep, yep. Um, I saw I saw more. See, John Carmack just left them. I did. Going down to Austin soon to hopefully meet him. Um, uh, no, what are you meeting him for? Um, I'm just a huge fan. Um, Carmack uh, didn't retire. He um, he's working on his own startup. He's got an AGI startup. So yeah, I guess um, there is some, uh, he created a video game called Doom. Uh, Dune was a book written by somebody else. Herbert, Herbert, was it? Excuse me? You made the video game for- Are you trolling, are you trolling, Martin? Dune? Dune is a science fiction book. 
It's about like the spice must flow. It's uh yeah, I think Herbert sounds right. Yeah, Doom right. Doom is a third the first third person shooter that was very popular. But... Oh, oh just say Doom D O O M? Yeah, yeah. Somebody in my chat is already D U N E, which is sounds very similar but not exactly. No, Doom uh it was an impressive project that like was maybe eight to ten people and they remained that way for many years and they adapted to the new platforms really, really well and the new engines. Uh the notes. I'm excited to hear what you talk to him about because that's cool as fuck. Yeah, I'm going to Austin to see Lex Friedman, so I think it it, it might work. To... You, yeah, you don't have a formal meeting set up with John Carmack, right? You're, no, you're I'm just setting it up. Though. Open a stock or something. No, no, I, I I got a lot of mutual friends. That's cool. I like the stories about him sneaking into the computer lab and like hacking the the Macintoshes they had. Yeah, man. He's definitely the, the legend. I'm reading about the history of games on Mac. Very interesting. Oh man, about like how Halo almost helped him, but then like, oops. <laughs> this is like uh, games from the '80s. Oh, oh, you'll get there eventually. It's it's an interesting chapter. It's where they almost turned a corner, but nope, they didn't. My parents would never let me have a gaming console. They made me build my own computer. And they I would play flight simulator games. Like F, there's a game called F-22 Lightning 2. And the pilot, it was like a super realistic like fighter. And whenever the, the, the co-pilot would get like shot down, he'd be like, I'm hit, tell my wife. <laughs> And I was like traumatized for life. I'm like, what am I supposed to tell you? <laughs> you gotta tell his wife. Sam got me. <laughs> With a joystick and everything. It was intense. Five ones around sound play. <laughs> Sounds weird. Are your parents cool? Because they sound pretty cool. Yeah, we were homeschooled. My parents were like crazy. My dad's an oceanographer and uh, my mom wanted to homeschool us. So we, we did all kinds of cool stuff. You see this Fortnite scandal? Uh, I wouldn't call it a scandal. Yeah. They put a Kanye skin in? Oh. A Balenciaga Kanye collab skin? Oh, is that the scandal? They're paying $520 million. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what... That's like four V-Bucks per kid. <laughs> All right, well, sorry for sorry for warping your brain. You guys can get a free Mr. Beast skin. Yeah, VR is a bit annoying to put the headset on. I would agree with that. Yeah, it's interesting. So. The, this game is provably fair the way it, it works is it takes the EOS hash and does modular arithmetic to derive the result. Um, and I'm working on developing more large-scale entropy generation for for gambling. One of the problems with stake is it's not really provably fair. Right. So there's a lot of issues with, uh, with stake. Um, it's my opinion at least. Um, they say they're provably fair but they don't give you any of the seeds or anything. There's no specific bounty on on um, on Monk, but I definitely would appreciate it. Uh, certainly would give you some. Is this app playing with real Bitcoin? This is their testnet. It's on the Bitcoin testnet and Dogecoin testnet, and Litecoin testnet. Oh, okay. The mainnet's rolling out soon. So we have a fourth game that's almost ready for production. That's help design it's really great it's a very different type of game that's very unique uh, no other casino has it do you like to play poker uh we we will eventually have poker and ideally some of it will be on chain as well be really interesting though on the chain yeah, I mean, I think that's sort of what the world's waiting for. The entropy generation is one of the biggest problems is you want some kind of 
entropy generation tool that can scale um, pretty dramatically. Sorry, what is entropy generation? So just randomness, you know, basically. The problem with that is you just need a to the world problem, which is why does it mean trust that that one's trustworthy? I can't hear you. None of that came through. Can you hear me now? Yep. No. I was just I was just saying um with the entropy problem, getting randomness onto the blockchain, you kind of run into that oracle problem, right? Like why do you trust that source of data? Yeah, you need to, you know, to like, show how you're deriving that randomness. So it's a, like a verifiable delayed function or something like that. You have some proof that it was calculated. Yeah. And, hey, Monk, oh, just missed it. Damn. Yeah, so any kind of... Uh, You know, all, all the problems with the current chains are that they don't scale. So I, I would need potentially as much as 50,000 entropy events, novel entropy events, every second. You know, I know uh, I've looked at the chain link thing. But it, it, yeah, the speed required for this kind of scale is just, you know, it's an enormous uh, undertaking. Because uh, what you don't want to have happen is somebody playing poker game one can look at poker game 12 or poker game 12,000 and say, oh, five of hearts is coming. <laughs> you know, that would be uh, quite a disaster. Uh, I don't know about the Binance stuff. I mean, obviously, you know, it's sort of a an issue, but... Um, you know, the thing about bank runs and stuff like that is, you know, you kind of learn in the end. Um, if, if the company had the money or not, you know, financial companies are really tricky. Yeah, if there's a good ZK protocol to do it, that'd be great. But one of the problems, hey, monk, monk, monk. Oh. one of the problems with ZK is you have um, um, again, you, you, you also need sort of instantaneous um, entropy. So I see a lot of people trying to employ these things, but the, oh, here we go, monk, easy monk. Yeah. All right, now I'm going to play it easy. Gambling is for losers. Online gambling is for morons. So I'd, I'd say it depends. So in general, I think that's um, a little unfair because people who are gambling are ideally they're doing it for for entertainment, and they know that these are games that are uh, difficult or or have um, bad edge for them. And I think that. Um, You need a device that um, can can have a provably fair RNG. So I'd say that, let's see what you're suggesting here. Yeah, so I think you would need that device to sort of be able to, you're just be a hardware device. Um, you would have to be able for people to sort of sample that circuit or like, put the same inputs in to get the same output, uh, ideally, that it's a one-way function that VSV. Um, so I think there's good entropy generators out there for one or two instances, say, a second, but not like 50,000 instances a second or something like that. Yeah, the, this, the, you can always sample the processor clock. That's the way you do it. I've learned to do it as a kid. I mean, people have been doing that for generations. Um, so I always loved games. I mean, every person ever interested in math, you know, ends up 
learning and being interested in games um, at some point. Um, and as I'm learning the history of like combinatorial game theory or whatever you want to call it, it's, it's really fascinating stuff. Um, give you a, a quick example is this idea of um, a partisan game. In combinatorial th game theory game is partisan if it is not impartial. That means some moves are available to one player, they're not available to others. Most games are partisan. For example, chess, only one player can move the white pieces. Um, and this whole Sprague-Grundy theorem is, is the kind of um, question. So if something has a Sprague-Grundy you know, application, it's really an isomorphism. And so many of these games are isomorphic to each other. Um, you could be looking at a game like Hangman or something like that and say, oh, this is actually the same rules as a game that like some word uh, boggle type of based game. Um, and it's sort of hard to find truly unique games. And that's why Crash, uh, called Bust a Bit sometimes, uh, Bust a Bit or Crash was, was a very unique game uh, in that it wasn't so isomorphic to many other games. But if you're talking about card games, they're, they're all sort of like isomorphic to each other in a lot of ways. Um, any draw-based game, for example, they're pretty, pretty similar. What do gambling sites do to ensure randomness or pseudo-randomness in general? It's, it's, that's sort of the problem with the industry. So we don't know, <laughs> right? They can tell you, but Monk is actually, I think, innovative in that you see the hash, and at least the best you could do is say, well, if you can predict the EOS hash or the Ethereum hash, which is what we're upgrading to, then you can crack Ethereum, and you've got better fortune to make than worrying about us. Um, it'd be pretty impressive if you could do that. Um, now, you don't need to predict the exact hash to some extent. Yeah, that's one potential loophole there, but provably fair is very, very tough to, to do. Um, uh, partially uh, because, you know, stakes method is, requires several seeds that are not disclosed to anybody. They say that you have a seed, the company has a seed, and your mouse generates a seed, but they don't give you any of those, so you don't know what, <laughs> what's going on. Seed is a, t a form of password, yes. You click the, the previous roll section to see the hash of the last spin, and there's, if you click fairness, you'll, we actually have the code. It's 14 lines of code, that's just a, line 13 is the main one, which is just a modular, you know, modulo 16, basically. It's provable because if you take the hash and put it in those 16 lines of code, you will, you will get the number that the roulette wheel provides. Screlly pill. Hopefully it's not too toxic. Thank you so much everybody for watching um, and checking Monk out. Um, definitely sign up for Monk. A lot of um, great things going on there. I gotta try this quiz again. Let me see.
be British Virgin Islands and U.S. Virgin Islands. Oh, yeah, I'm not talking about the game. Those aren't territories, thankfully, of independent countries, though, so please don't give me any hints, though. So they don't, they don't count in the 196. For long. Give me any hints. I won't. I love doing this, so. Can I, I, oh, sorry. I did a speed run. There's a there's a speedrun.com category for typing all the country names. Did you win? No, I didn't do very good. I couldn't type very fast. But I think I was like number number three. That's pretty good. There's only like four people. <laughs> this. <laughs> Gotta get on that Mavis Beacon shit. Oh, I'm a little rusty now. I probably miss a lot. Africa is so tricky. Yeah, you kind of just have to remember them all. You got the you got the one that starts with N. It's not good. That's not good to type. I find that uh, the oceanic countries are quite hard. Oh, you're doing 196 countries. Are there more than that? Well, there's a depends who you ask. Three, there's 193 UN member nations. So you've got three other ones on your, that you have to do. Like that. Wait, what's gonna happen when he gets to Taiwan? I put Taiwan. I put Taiwan in the counted here. Yeah, that one. No hints, please. Yeah, he tried typing it. Some of the the really hard parts are really small Africa. That, like, don't They're all renamed anyways. Yeah, they, they've changed their names a bunch. There's some countries with like hard spelling too.
it's not a lot there in the real life anyways. <laughs> that region. I mean, some of these countries have a lot of people, but some of them I have to showcase from I mean you're, you're still going uh, from my last job or not something I have access to oops oops I don't think they call Christmas Islands a country anymore. No. Okay, it's South Africa, Namibia. Something's below the Congo, though. Zimbabwe, Botswana, Tanzania, Namibia. Is it? Is it the N one? Um, no, those ones are. Don't give me any hints. Don't worry. <laughs> he tried it. Yeah, I tried it anyway. <laughs> you can't. That's why I don't want you to give me hints, because I'll. I will cheat if you let me. I'm still missing a couple of the damn island countries. Um, I shouldn't Wrong say damn countries. I shouldn't say damn island countries because they're somebody's home. Congo. Gabon. Tanzania. South Africa. I always get these wrong. Uh, Zimbabwe. I think one of them is a Z. Zambia? Yes. Got Zambia. Uh, what's the left of Zambia in the south of Congo? Oh man, I think some guy fled here. But I think he fled to Namibia. Famous uh, CEO. South Africa, Namibia. Tanzania. Um... Mauritania. Oh, Mor oh, Mauritius was one I missed. Just got ten left. Yeah, that's an island. Oh man. Grenada? I got Grenada. That's what I was just thinking about. There's. <laughs> I got Grenada. 
Burkina Faso, I got Polynesia, Polynesia. Polynesia is not a country really, so <laughs> what am I missing on the islands? Fiji, Samoa, Tuvalu, Vanuatu, Nauru, Palu, oh man, come on, Marshall Islands, oh, I didn't write Marshall Islands, damn, okay, Yeah. nice, only nine left. What about the Canary Islands? Now you're helping me cheat. Canary Islands not considered. It's not a country. A country. Bahrain, I got. I always forget Bahrain. Bhutan, I always forget. Burundi, I got Burundi. Uh, Vatican, Burundi makes great coffee. Andorra. Angola. You're all the West Indies. Angola, I forget. I just got Angola at the. At yeah. the buzzer. And then the... Okay, the Brunei. Like, Remember the Sultan of Brunei? I always forget East Timor. I also forgot East Timor, yeah. St. Lucia. I, noticed, I, was, I, I was gonna, Did I confuse I Malta and Monaco? Time. Tonga. San Marino. Oh, Mozambique is the easy one, I forgot. Yeah. Monaco. You Monaco. should've gotten Monaco. Singapore. It's not on the map is the problem, so you don't know if you did it or not. I always just put Singapore in when I do Malta. They just have Malta. Yeah, so whenever I do France, I should do Monaco instantly, right? Yeah. And I, I do East Timor because I don't forget it. I don't. East Timor is so easy to forget. I never forget East Timor. But yeah, the big one I miss is... Chomsky talks about it all the time. Tonga is easy to forget. Uh, Mozambique is the embarrassing one, that one's... It's hard reason. to like remember geographically all the small. Oh, things. show missing countries will will tell you what you're missing. Oh, nice. Oh, sweet. Let me do that for now. Saint Lucia. It's easy to forget Saint Lucia. That's West Indies shit. Its own place. Yeah. Did you miss Martinique? Sorry. Say it again. Did you get Martinique? I can't hear you. Oh, did you get Martinique? I don't think Martinique is uh, considered independent in this game. A country? Oh, fuck. Oh, it's part of France. Yeah. 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 Let me go with Wordle now. See how, how I do there. You gotta play Babel Royale. That's the best word. What is it? Babel Royale. You gotta send me a link. Oh, do you wanna play uh, League after this? Yeah, I could play some. Let me see. What do I like you could first? also play some Babel Royale. We could do both. What do I like for a starting word here? I always start with penis. What? My, my, my favorite. My strategy 
Story. I play the most boring way. I have five English words that use 25 letters. Yeah, but so then you can't get it in four. So I got this one. I, this care. one. I just don't want to lose. I got really lucky with store, so I got basically the entire damn thing. It's just about what? the... Satire? No, there's no R in this. Don't give me any hints, people. Uh, it has an S. It ends with an E. And it's got a T in the third or fourth position, so it could be like... Sit... No. It could be... Seizures cast. Sat... S X X T E. So it's like state. Can you use the same thing twice? I think you can. Yeah. Right? I'm done. I did mine. Got it in five. What's that? I got it in five. But you can use the same. You mean like, could there be two S's? Two oh my god, I got it in two! Nice job. That was easy. We gotta get you on a Linux distro. <laughs> what do you think I got, you know, this guy, man? Here, I'll send you a link to the Bamble Royale. Page. The game is a little dead, but if you got if you got people to play it, it would be less dead. Portal. It's like uh, it's like Fortnite mixed with Scramble. What? It's so much fun. You you like kill people by like making a word on them. Oh, I need that. It's like fast paced Scramble with like power ups and killing. You like that? Um, I need some more fast food. It's like a mobile game that we made in two thousand, like eight or nine or ten. You need a keyboard, right? The game would not be fun without a keyboard. No, it was a pain in the ass, and that was not the platform for it. But it was like an experiment in overlapping two genres, which was like the the word type, and then like using it to like objective, like kind of like a. Uh, like typing of the plant dead. Plant versus zombies. Yeah, yeah, a plant versus zombies type where it's like slow moving or kind of like a type game. Type to learn. Should I get KFC? Some Mavis speaking stuff. Is two miles away too far for delivery? No. no it's it'll 40 in New York? In New York? No. Yeah. Order though. Like if you get a hamburger, it's going to be soggy, but if you get like pasta, you can like get it. Okay, let me see here. I need to get the closest delivery place. This app kind of sucks. Burger Spot? <laughs> Just, a lot of these are cloud kitchens. They are. It sucks. You have to kind of like cross reference them. White Castle. Five guys. Five guys is good. Unfortunately closed. Ooh, this place is good. McDonald's is closed. Burger spot. I'm gonna go with this mysterious oh, burger cheap. spot. I ordered this other place close to midnight. It came pretty fast, I think. Let's see how far.
farthest is away from me. It's not too far. Who's playing the uh, music? I don't hear music. It's probably only in mine. Oh, it's League. Yeah, that's just you, brother. I think it's League. It's my League of Legends. Uh, ready to rock? Quester? I'm gonna, I smirk. Okay, I gotta adjust this order. Isn't the best website. Modify your order. There we go. This is mind blowingly difficult. <laughs> okay. Add to bag. Oh, is this my bag? Ah, yes, I see. Remove that from the bag. Thank you. Perfect. I did a competitive analysis on Fortnite. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, I've got some files. Driver tip? No. No, we're not doing that. It, it it automatically put in like a 40% driver tip. I might have calculated in my last order. Still delivery fee, service fee, tax, driver tip. Come on. I ain't got time for all that. All right, I'm going to order it and stop complaining. Okay, order will be here after we stop these guys. Oh, I was just about to invite you. Ready when you are, champ. Caroline, call Caroline to come cook. Yeah, right. Somehow I don't think she's cooking. To be clear, my simping is. How do I put this? Just simping. Unless it's Carolyn Ellison. That's for real. 25% for delivery? Get out of here. Morgan. You can Hello. contact me for uh, the beta. Uh, email me at martin at martinscarly.com. Any good app ideas using uh, OpenAI? Good question. Van Trundle? Yeah. What is it? What is the back end built on? Well. Got a lot of databases that don't talk to each other very well right now. <laughs> Does that help?
Babel Royale. Oh, indeed. Oh, I have to I have to install this or buy it. It's free. It's on Steam. Okay, I'll try it out. It's a little bit dead, but it's hey. very fun, and I'm sure you hey, can just play it. It's probably one of the most fun video games I've ever played. But wow. It doesn't seem to appeal to very many people. Not enough. Not enough. Not enough word likers out there. Not enough people like words. Yeah, I'm a word Where's guy. Where's my word fans at? Somebody wants to work at Goldman. Good luck, man. I know you can do it. <laughs> what? I mean, that's a good dream to have. Oh man, this thing's called Kitten Lady, and she's fostering these cats, including uh, bottle feeding them. It's so cute. <laughs> My buddy's tweeting from jail or Instagramming from jail. We need a juice bar in here, seriously, he writes. Simp, simp, simp. Simp, simp, simp. You asshole, now it's in my head. What's my prison uh, theme song? Oh, that's a tough one. I would say Kodak Black's Core Links and JPEG. That was pretty good. Core Links and JPEG. <laughs> Core Links and JPEG. <laughs> he says a bunch of jail shit that only jail people would understand. This dude's a stir master. The lyrics of Core Links and JPEG are, are insane. And of all the jail rappers, I would say Kodak knows the most about jail. Oh, I have to annotate the song on Genius. Definitely a good idea. Ear Jummers, Glee, Sniper Gang, Mike Will Made It. That's how the song starts. Those are mostly um, taglines or whatever. I'm like a fiend, know what I mean? I need everything. No, homie, this ain't lean, I'm drinking lemonade. I ain't talking blige, but I'm blowing Mary J. You would think I'm blind because I'm rocking my heavy shades. That's how the song begins. I think Kodak's trying to paint a picture of the amount of drugs he takes, which is a significant amount. Um, he's, he's almost like a fiend, that's how intoxicated he is. All right, the next stanza is as follows. I gotta keep the fire, try me, I'ma let it rain, cause I be walking around with a big scary chain. All winter, I'm posted up, I'm selling candy cane. Before I made my move, I had to let it marinate. This is a relatively discursive stanza that has no evident, um, is sort of a non sequitur, um, which is common theme in uh, Kodak's music. He tends to move from one topic to another. He's sort of discussing his uh, formidable nature uh, and his status as a drug dealer, while also sort of uh, 
ruminating on his, um, you know, sort of thought process and making moves in the street. Uh, this is all a non sequitur from the last stanza and the next stanza. I beat the pot with a spoon and watched the dope lock up. Vivid. I dropped the five in the deuce like an urlocker. That's a football player, I believe. I thought on the song he said Hurt Locker, which I believe is a, a movie or something like that. But it's Urlocker, which who I believe was a NFL player. Brian Urlocker. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. McFarris. <laughs> yeah, and I'm, I'm a little confused what his reference is because I'm not. Uh, my cook game is, is, is substantial when it comes to pharmaceuticals. I'm not. The best cook when it comes to narcotics, which you know I've, I've never made in, in at scale or in, in any way, shape, or form to be frank. At scale. <laughs> oh no, my man turned all sums. I hope he doesn't blame me. Discord, the disc like the Discord chat is right in my lead view. Yeah, the top left. It's not in the top left. It should be. Oh, um, literally it's like in. some combination of keys. Yeah. Oh my god, I missed that. Then he says, don't make me run up in your gig, because I'm a showstopper. I got 99 bands, and I got no problems. Obvious reference to Jay-Z there. But I like the, the phrase, don't make me run up in your gig. Uh, sort of in a uh, play on words, or a reference to gigs. What artists do. What the? This guy just died solo to the support? Or is he misfortune to support, I guess? Is, what is it? The Swain is support. He died for the Swain? Oh my god. He seems to be blaming me on his death.
now the song really begins in earnest. Hey, repeat what you just said. You don't want no problems. I'm patient. When she give me head, I call her a dome doctor. I keep a pep in my step like I'm pimp walking. I run up in your home like a Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> I like the, the, the detailed readings. Thank you. Dramatic readings. Yeah, I, I, not too many references to... Are you sure? Home Alone. This is why Kodak Black got a pardon and I didn't. It's lyrical magnificence. Rap war. The made Dome that Doctor. This should have been a better rapper, Martin. Should have, could have, would have. Mr. Black continues. I got little shawty on that reefer now, she Kodak boppin'. When I jump up in the beamer, I'd be thought hoppin'. All this perk in the leader got me sleepwalkin'. I'm booted up, molly jolly, I don't need coffee. I'm trying to blow the fuck up, them crackers lock me down. They got me on the seventh floor, I'm trying to hit the ground. I'm trying to touch the promised land, you need to let me down. I put my trust in that bitch, that hoe let me down. Core links and JPEG. Core links and JPEG. Core links and JPEG. How's the outro go? Brilliant. Damn, the Varus is blaming you. Don't flame him. Should play Mad Libs. himself to get the kill. There we go. Hey! What? Who got me? Okay, the, the Draven's kind of bad. Lux got me? I thought I survived that for sure. Lux is pretty bad and the Draven is really bad. He's kind of just whining. Alright, so now the, the whole first verse has nothing to do with Jail really, except the ending. But the second verse is what makes the songs. And in my opinion this is like the quintessential Jail song for that reason. He says, For all my uh, ninjas waiting on some pictures through the core link, I know your people ain't keep it real like they supposed to be. 
So you can't actually get photographs through the Corelinks app, but I think Kodak knows that, having been in a federal prison himself several times. You had a different Corelinks, I guess. You no, good one. there's only one Corelinks, you know. Don't be silly, Sarah. Not bad. You cannot get photographs through any jail system, you have to get the flicks, which is what we call them. You get the flicks sent in through a uh, uh, picture mailing service. <laughs> which is sometimes uh, former prisoners have set these services up that cater specifically to um, prisoners. Or inmates, I should call those. Yeah, you should run mad. I think we can make a play here. So Corelink's a uh, vital uh, application for prisoners to email their families. Oh shit. Roll mid, he says. Good thing. Uh, the Draven is trolling about what his deal is, but he's just like typing about how nobody's making plays with him, and then every time I come to help him, he runs away. Well, he said he's saving his stacks for next game. Well, that's pretty funny. He's really bad at Paris, huh? The character limit, definitely funny. Oh boy, you might be stuck. All right, the next line is go send your N words some money through JPay so he could eat. That N-word used to look out for you when he was on the streets. That's when you were out of jail. The day is upon us. Um, thanks, thanks for the clarification, I appreciate yeah. that. Um, <laughs> could you clarify N-word? That could be any, any word that starts with N. When he said, uh, You're not. <laughs> so, he can, so he can eat, that phrase refers to not just um, food, which is what you buy with commissary, that's why you need to put some money uh, on, on the books of the prisoner. <laughs> but also other things like stamps and prison, all kinds of other prison things you can buy, both illicit, <laughs> illicit and uh, legal. Should we camp? Uh, I'm coming top. Slowly. Oh, nice. You got this, buddy. <laughs> Did I steal the assist? We're literally winning. Yeah, he's really funny. He literally has not participated in the game. No assists, no kills. You, I find like some of these guys, you'll like, you just sort of talk them out of it, and they'll or not talk them out of it, but ignore them. They just they, want the they'll start playing. They're usually the worst players anyway. Like they're just terrible. Jesus Christ! Yeah, and if you help them, it, it goes a long way. Well, let me help them. Keep running away whenever I try to help them. Time to build some damage. Oh shit. Oh. He kind of got caught in an unusual spot. This guy has no ulti. He's like super dead. Let him get the kill if you can. There he goes, he finally gets his stacks. I think MS probably sprinted away. <laughs> uh, collapse unlocks? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Um, 
Maybe bad, maybe bad. Lux is over here. Oh, we got her flash. Just run away. Just... Lux is collapsing. I'm surprised she flashed because she wasn't really in the bad. Jaden wants to play now. Yeah, because he got a... One kill. He got a kill, so he got all the stacks. I should have taken it to the right one. Oh. He's even telling you, worth waste of flash. What? Who is he talking to? He hasn't even died yet. It's always the Draven players. These people are so crazy. Forest play? What does that even mean? Like network? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a rough year in the equities markets. <laughs> If he's talking about me, it's probably true. Actually, you know what? It, it turns out like most most working people are incredibly like unliquid. They have no money. Yes. They have like one depreciating asset. So I know it's not actually that bad when you compare it. When you think of the damage. Uh, stay safe. We're gonna try to kill you. I'm not gonna help you. I'm gonna go kill him now. You're kind of in date. Dragon? Put my stacks. Let's put on some Wu-Tang. Oh, yeah. still have that Alan Martin. Up, yes. Uh, yeah, careful of the poke. I don't think Rex has all of them. Yeah, I gave, I gave Draven another 50 gold. Just to help me. Lux, man. Damn it. All right, just to continue. The Jesse Michaels interview is out. Um, uh, I just hit my cousin G1 today through the email. I know that feeling that you feeling, and I love you, fam. That's his friend who's in jail. Just like a peanut butter jelly, my N-word in a jam. That's when you're in jail, you're in a jam. This for the N-words eating zoom zooms and wham whams. These are, these are snacks in prison. And your girl got a new N-word, but she gonna leave when you release. Feeling like everybody shaken, they be loyal for a week. That boy a Jimmy told me black you a prophet N-word, cause when you spit, you spit that real shit that be like God sent you. That's so funny. He, he didn't even die. <laughs> Corlex <laughs> and JPEG. Oh shit, my food's here. I'm gonna go grab that real quick on the AFK. Unfortunately, for a minute here, I'm gonna sit by tower. So if I dive. Pretty fast.
Sarah, smile. Oh, you dick. Fuck off. Hey, I'm a new, uh, a new, um, Discord user. No flame. <laughs> hey, little buddy. What's up? What's up, buddy? Can you tell, can you tell all not to tell girls to smile? <laughs> <laughs> You'd be so much prettier if you smiled, Sarah. <laughs> you guys like Usher? I love Usher. Usher. <laughs> I love Usher. I, I like Holy he makes shit. Lana. I like My Way it was like my favorite. There was another song that he did in like 2013 or 2012 that was fantastic. It's like, is that his song? I can't remember. Did Usher do a bad thing? Please tell me Usher's not problematic. No, I, I was thinking of the Boondocks thing. It's when my confessions just went out loud. I said all I can say. My chick on the side, because we got one on the way. Ah, oh, shit, AFK okay, warning. Holy shit. What did you get, Martin? Burger. God damn it! See, if you lived in uh, if you lived in Cambridge, you could have gotten a tasty burger. Or you could live in Illinois, you get a Culver's like butter burger. Great man. You ever been to Culver's, Sarah? I have, but from the Midwest. I know, I know this is a like, League of Legends thing, but. What's the if anyone plays assassins? What's a good wound um, for Zed? Uh, electrocute. I mean, like aside from electrocute, is it conqueror or is it like first strike? Ah. I recommend the electrocute. Like electrocute. To electrocute, I guess it would be conqueror. Oh, I'm lucky guys. Cause I've been seeing a lot of people like play first strike, but I'm not sure if that's a that's a good move. For them. I don't think business workers should work from home. To be frank. I think. Wait. I think tech people should work. From What's up, Mo? Stay at the Vanguard. Hey there, did you get your car fixed? Got new tires? Yes. Rally to me. I did. Is that Tay? Oh, oh hi. Hey. What's up? Oh, you know, just waiting. Is it team oh, effort? You got it all figured out with your car. Yeah. The boys were helping me with. I had a flat tire on my car, and they taught me how to put air in it at the gas station. Nice. I'm sure they yeah. were. I'm sure you made their day and they're still talking about you. Yeah. No, I just need to like the boys on Discord. Oh. I see. Oh, via, via Discord. Yeah. And then um, I got new tires. Jeff told me nowhere to go. And I spent a thousand dollars on tires. Oh, a thousand dollars? I thought they were yeah. going to be a lot less. Oh, right. Just try to run. Dude, They're oh, actually wait. just griefing. I guess I'll just complain about it. Must be pretty good tires. Yeah, yeah they were like that. They were like the Michelin brand. There were cheaper options, but like, it's the fucking tire of your car that like carries you on the road. Like, that's a pretty important thing, you know? I'm not trying to die. Oh, you got the promotion. Where it gets, gets the best. Yeah, anyway, I mean, I wasn't happy about spending a thousand dollars 
Uh, I'm not gonna lie, but it's not a big deal. I'm sure this is a bad thing, but like, I can't make it past over one night. Dirty LP. Like that's like the maximum I, it seems I can get get to. Yeah, it's uh, it's a tough game. Like I made it to gold last season, but. Like, even, even Martin struggles to get past so far. And it feels like every game I win, I only gain like 10 LP. Yeah, once you play a lot of games in the season, especially if your win rate's not very good, or if your win rate's really good, your LP gains start to get really small. But that just means your games are really easy and you're still losing them. Or like your games are at like an MMR that isn't like very high. Uh, so it, it expects you to win the game and then you lose the game. I'm silver one, it'll, but I think my MMR is like silver two or something. Like, like it'll like give three. you the better team or um, you'll be like at, a, at an MMR that's like significantly below where your rank is. And then that's why it'll give you like 10. Who should I play? Oh, Annie's banned, so yeah. Bargo's in. The best champs are Annie, Timo, Vagar. Tristana, Rumble. Gangplank. Marion, what are you doing? What are you doing with your life? What am I doing with my life right now? I'm playing the uh, League of Legends. Yeah, what are you doing with your life? <laughs> Martin, get it together. Damn. Sorry, that was my fault. Oh my god. Yeah. Good. Great. I'm just way too good at the game. I cleaned this whole fight up. Nice. He DCs. <laughs> We're just losing too hard, man. What is he supposed to do? The guy DC because he's over. We're losing so badly. Because he's fucking upset that we're winning. Am I getting this right? Yeah, oh, but... she got her TP off. You could be winning better. He's you upset that. that that he thought we were gonna lose really hard. We we want to. A fight against the odds. So now he's upset that he's wrong. Oh, he's back, he's back, he's back. No, please. Oh, he came back to start the surrender mode. <laughs> He's gonna DC again. I'm not saying for sure though, but I might be against a Kaiser mid. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, people, people play that. It's not very good. People can play that. I'm on the way. I don't have my good. Oh, you're gonna leave again. I'm gonna die. Why would you do that? Kind of sitting here. It's all fitting. It's pretty good. I should just stop fighting. It's pretty good. Oh, oh, oh. Nice! Okay, what is that team comp? Nice! Maokai main? It has to be Maokai main. Nice! Oh my There's god, no he did it! The beast! Or is it Blonde main? Turn the fight from a loss to a win. I got Zeke's. I don't know if that's a good yeah, idea. Yeah, I don't know. Either way, I'm playing Zed. But, like... That, that's probably your biggest problem, honestly. If you can't get out of silver, I would go ahead and I would suggest that your biggest issue may be that you play Zed. Well, I mean... I, 
I think in the main season, I was playing a lot of Annie and uh, Lulu. Oh my god. Do you um, see this mid? Yeah. Holy shit. I, I like I like Zed, but um, like realistically speaking, I, I just, I can't, I can't seem to like climb on him. Doing some Baron stuff. Like I win a few good games on Zed and then like, yeah, I won't lie, I hit one. And then from there on, I just keep losing. Like I would have to go back to support. And... Yeah, support, support is a very good role for playing. Balls on oh. Oof. Holy fuck, guys. guys the guys. crew is here. Maybe. Yes. Because why did I ever doubt? I'm gonna head to bed. Um. Good night. Good night. Uh. Martin, very interesting talk tonight. Um, Thank you. I work in pharma, so I will probably be on here again yeah, to talk to you about great. that stuff. That sounds great. Come here, come here, come here. <laughs> Get I'm that Penta! Oh, Penta kill! <laughs> no problem, kill though. Lisa's already dead, but... What is this? Every item in this game is built to oh, make me God. hate my life. I do not understand why do people do this. What did I do? Dude, he's losing it. Oh. Wait, what? The guy in our game is going crazy. There's no way it's a Lowy mid. Dude, I had a guy one time, I had a guy one time literally type like oh, his incel dissertation for this? like the entire <laughs> like 50 minute long game. This guy was typing the entire time about how like awful women are and how like the only woman he ever loved broke his heart. And everyone on my team was just like, dude, it, it, it's okay. And, like, I was I was just talking to the guy the whole game and we almost won. It was like a like a high diamond game, and he was like a master smurf or something. It was so weird. It's Alawi mid with fleet footwork. It's like tunnel vision. Why don't they have any armor? He asked me again. <laughs> 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 He's mad because I stole his kill in the team fight before we end the game. <laughs> He's like a parody of a Draven Penta. I mean, Draven Fire. Oh my god. That was so bad. <laughs> that guy I, I, had, I shit stomped that whole game. He tried to throw so hard. He made a champion. Oh my god. He wasn't even that I'm bad. I'm trying to dodge your like, tentacle like, things, but like, those things hurt level three. That guy was like an okay player. He was just like. Should I honor? God. Um, I'm, gonna honor the I'm back in here. I'm gonna lose like a big wave, but if I don't back, I die. To the death. Hecarim's pretty strong. <laughs> Martin, are you gold yet? Not yet. Close. What's your LP gains? Uh, I just missed that. Let me check. Silver two. <clears throat> Thirty LP. So you gained twenty one. Did I ever think about music? You doing music production? Yeah, emo. I can really get the emo sound. 
request as my associate producer. Oh my god, that left me with 2 HP. Are you streaming your game in our channel? That one slap. <laughs> I'm probably like the worst set into like a Lowry. Looks like I can't do anything. Who are you talking to? Hello? And trundle again. People are just trying to chat, Martin. Oh. And you're always, you're always calm. Like they just like they come in here. No, no, no. They, they want friendship. They want community. You know. I'm so with it. I'm just like you know. Talk to someone, and then you're just being rude. Fuck community. For your own, for your own, like fucking. Wait. Entertainment. This Mordekaiser pinged me to go in. And so, like, like I, talking? I shadowed to the Lowry. But then he backed off. Who are you talking to? Oh, so fucking rude. Like, he pinged me to go in, so I, I shadowed towards Are you Lowry. talking to a teammate? And then he just, like. <laughs> he's narrating a game. Now he's saying, like, why asked did you go in? Bet, right? He has to be doing a bet, right? Well, yeah, now that he's not even responding, I don't know, but just chill out about it, Martin. Is he narrating a game nobody can see, or is he at least streaming yeah, a game? he is. I have no idea. He might be that's like... A, that's a good bit, actually. <laughs> that's pretty funny. <laughs> I, I saw somebody do the greatest bit ever last month. These guys did a did a league tournament, and they just like trolled all the teams that showed up. Oh, it's funny. It's genius. My favorite league player is Altich. He's married with a kid now. Oh wow, does this kid play League? <laughs> I don't know, he, he retired a long time ago. I know, I know. I, he switched to TFT for a while, I played TFT with him. Oh, that's fine. A pertinent. What? I know how to spell a pertinent. I guess it's one P? Epper ten. Oh! Extra D! <laughs> it's just one of those like, you're writing too many letters too quickly. Magnitude, oh man. What? That's such a weird question. Going into my jungle, uh, guys. I don't know. Yeah, we should go back on the definition. It's just the two of them. It's just the two of them. Go, go, go. Magnitude is like a, I don't know. Is it really a ratio? It could be a...
have squatulate. You guys have squatulate like I do? Oh my god, he didn't block for me. Oh my god, we're so fucked. Never heard this word, absquatulate. To make off with something or someone. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm like literally Owen too. <laughs> Just trying like not to die. To try not to die, but it's like unbearable. And who are Why? you and who are you talking to? Why don't you farm? You know what? Do me a favor. Just run into the tower, right? <laughs> what are you building? He started off. He asked that question about uh, what the best room was. Yeah, he replied to that. He was responding. We were talking about the rooms. <laughs> He's gone catatonic. My uh, lane partner's not so great. They never are. I I can carry, but I'm just gonna have to get real fed and run around and kill everybody again. Not too hard, actually. Oh man. Bane focused me. Thank you, your support. Snowball. I guess the NPC guy ran out of voice lines. That was great, NPC. <laughs> Who's LARPing? Although he knows Leo Le I mean, he knew Leo Legends, so maybe... I mean, he's an epic troll. He came in and he's like, Sir, I'm, I'm new to Discord, guy. Uh... You, didn't, you didn't say I'm new to Discord. I'm new to this Discord, maybe? That was it. 
Yeah, this funny. Oh man, I'm 2 and 0. <laughs> I'm really gonna start snowballing. There's no fucking game. <laughs> and Taylor's getting on my ass for, for, for harassing them. He just wants community. <laughs> Making a fake lead he game up. Friends. Oh, but he's, he's intentionally not talking to any of us. No, I didn't realize that. That was so honest. funny. I thought he really was trying to talk to <laughs> No, me too. That's why I was like, like. I thought he was just trying to talk to someone. Like, I know he wasn't talking to anyone, but I thought he was just hoping, like, someone would. That's why I was, like, suspicious. I'm like, is he broadcasting a game? Is he. Oh my god, I'm just so good at League of Legends. <clears throat> why am I- why, why was I born gifted in this game? Like, it's just not fair to other people. I never put in any effort, I never tried to get any better. I barely spent any time playing it. Don't you play video games like with most of your Nope, videos? never. I spend all my time at my job at the business store. Business store getting deals? Yeah. Sorry about that, that. my mic. <laughs> the business <laughs> store. Oh, your mic's working now? <laughs> yeah. Oh, your mic's working now. Oh, good. <laughs> I was a uh, business store. Yeah. Uh, I was in between Mind. this game and, um, like, in between two channels at the same time. Oh, okay. So, yeah. I'm like. How's your game going? Um. Not that great. Like, I was still hearing everything you guys were saying, but like... I'm just not responding <laughs> to it? I couldn't, though. Using violence. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh but yeah. God. Your job at the business long. store. I'm fucking I'm dead. I've been for, for like a good minute or two. I am legitimately dead. That was the funniest thing I've ever heard. What kind of business does a business store do? <laughs> they sell business. Good ass business. <laughs> they make deals. They make deals and they sell a lot of business. Right. Does he just automate it all? Uh, business store does a lot of automation. The business men work at. It's supposed to automate a whole industry? What all the businessmen do? Not only that, like but like my red. Touch. Synergies. Like oh. Cost savings. Vertical integration. Just there a few of the things we do at the business oh, store. Oh, okay. I amazingly whiffed on my ult. Hello. SP, if you knock that over, I swear to God. I have to get a new kitty. You have to get a new kitty? Mm-hmm. Oh, no. <laughs> Nothing wrong with Trashy. She's just, you know. She's found her dad. Yeah, Papa. You were just, yeah. <clears throat> you were just holding her for a while. What kind of cat would you get if you got a cat? I might get a Despy cat of Persian. Uh, he's a main coon for A main coon. Yeah. Maybe a Persian. I have like a bird. He's a mix of both, I think, is what oh he is. Oh my god, this guy's so bad. Because you're not. His damage is just insane. And you look pretty. Who's damage? <laughs> the, um, the Lowry I keep talking about. Well, you're not streaming. What I was talking about earlier. Do you have allergies to cats, or just dander in general? Oh, uh, not too bad. A little bit. I don't have all the... Oh. Oh my god, did you? I was kind of actively avoiding fighting him. Oh my I fucking you. killing spree. Good. Can you help me, please? Oh, I can't. I don't have anything. Oh. Well, now you're ready to fight this fucking guy. 
That's alright, I died for you, Blast. I die for your yeah, your fucking pr your precious right. gold. What about just friendship? <laughs> what about community? Community. Save your I'm boy. And I got shut down, I was 3 0. As a support. Wait, she still has ulti? Oh no. She, oh. There you go, did your kill, right there. I'm calling it now. Quest is a noob. What the fuck? Questionable place. <laughs> I mean, you do go in on people more sometimes like that, you know? That's all. I'm just... What's up? Sometimes it's long. We all do. Sometimes well, Martin is an asshole, but sometimes... Sometimes, well, <laughs> sometimes I'm the most hated man in the world. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. sometimes. No, I mean, warranted in here like some people are being bombed. It's like true. when it's a conservative? They aren't that. Every time. No question. True. I don't think that's what she's saying though. Sarah, Any what's up girl? I'm watching them cleaning this hedgehog's feet. Anybody ever smoke weed? Oh my gosh, 42069 crawl. Anyone smoke Why today? Wow, this poke is crazy. Uh oh. The poke is good, the smoke is good. There you go. <sighs> Seems like they know. No, oh, they don't know you're coming. Uh, I fucked up. I whipped everything. What's that, sir? Uh, earlier, Martin read the lyrics to his favorite prison song. It was very nice. Oh, nice, nice. He didn't sing a bit of it. <laughs> he just read it out, yeah. He did, he did a poetic reading, a dramatic Holy reading. Holy shit. Is it, is it a rap? It was more Ice is a little strong. Yeah. This is a rap. Yeah. yeah. If it were a song, I could have sang it, but I don't rap. Don't be so grumpy. You're so dirty sometimes. You should be thankful I clean you, Mr. Pokeface. Be clean him. You just get a wet towel. Sometimes you give him a bath. Yeah, you gotta give him he a bath. A bath. <laughs> Crypto Dom is fun. I just noticed the fun. Quest, you're fucking hilarious. We gotta do our first podcast. Me, you, Billy the Fridge. There you go. Fucking white boys. I was gonna have, uh... Oh my god, I got the best fucking skit. You're gonna die. Ready? <laughs> I was talking to my old, uh, one of the guys I went to prison with, D-Block, who's my bunkie. And, um, he's doing, like, a, a group where he's talking to, like, young kids, mentoring them. Um, for, like, you know, so they, so they stay out of trouble and stuff like that. Troubled youth, right? Yeah. And I said, yeah, you know, I, I should do that too. You know, talk to all the young potential Sam Bank free, Sam free <laughs> Bankmans out there who might be troubled in considering uh, becoming fraudsters. <laughs> Just not worth it, man. All the talented MIT students, uh, potential MIT students, they were like, yeah, fraud's cool. No, it's not. Don't be like Fred Sam Bank. You wouldn't download a fraud. Uh, you wouldn't download a fraud. But he's like, yeah, I'm gonna talk to all the hood kids who are like bringing guns to school and stuff like that. You're like, don't abuse accounting. Don't. <laughs> You're t gonna be tempted to fake receivables. I'm just gonna try to drag it. Oh, never mind, they're walking up. Oh, fuck. I don't know, that was a lot funnier to us when we talked about it. Like, first it'd be 
him going to the hood, telling the kids all the like platitudes. Mm-hmm. And it's me going to oh. like Greenwich, Connecticut, like country day school or something. <laughs> like <laughs> some of you will get into MIT, some of you will get into Harvard, and they're like nodding. Oh my god, taking notes and shit. Hmm. Like thoughtfully. Have you seen some of these new photos of Billie Eilish? How's she looking? Amazing! Nice. She's still thick. Everybody's kind of talking thick. about that. <laughs> um, she's, uh, yeah. She's something. Whatever it is, I like it. Never made hedgehog, he's so precious. Man, that's pink. What's your favorite song from Billie Eilish? Uh, I don't listen to her music, I'll say that. I don't mind her photos. I saw a couple Billie Eilish photos that were like, what? So, like, you like her blonde or black hair? Oh, either way. Did anybody name a song that she sings? I can't. Uh, there's the I Wish You Were Gay, The Bad Guy. Those are the only two I can I'm not, yeah, I'm not trying to insult her music or anything. I'm sure it's really good. I just don't know. Nice. Yeah, we're not insulting yeah. her music. I like that song. I just can't think of any songs that she sings. Kind of like J Lo. <laughs> She's parking like indie rock channel. The one it. recently, I forgot what it's called. I, no, I think I think I do know what it's called. It's the it's that one where she was singing it in Singapore or something. That's like has to be like one of the good songs recently. I heard it like twice. Maybe we can win this game. I thought we were a little doomed, but I how, just got like. How are we not gonna win this game? What'd you say? How would we not win this game? Um, I was behind, and they have a lot of champions that. Their ADC is like useless. I think I'm just gonna outscale them now that I'm ahead. I just have to like play smart and not like play silly dum dum. You're not the only know. player on the team. But I am the only good player on the team. Whoa! Ooh. There's no I in team, eh? So fun fact, I have never once typed in this whole game, despite me That's losing good. hard to this um this uh, Lowry. Even though all my team pretty much hates me because I'm like, I'm having a hard hard game. That's great. Good, don't type. Only noobs like me type constantly. Oh my god, Bane spotting. Somebody tumbled forward. Oh, he whipped! Oh, you missed! He dodged it. That counts as a dodge. I didn't miss. I cast mine first. He he had an expert dodge. You have to anticipate. I was 3-0, and oh, then you refused to help me. Now I'm 3-2. and two. I'm throwing! And only six assists. This is terrible. But in that time, I got super fat. Yes. Get worked out. Mm -hmm. What the hell? People just be building the darndest things.
38 seconds to drag him. Are we, are we gonna collapse on Zed? Yeah, we're gonna do dragon. I'm just gonna kill Zed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good, good electric Q usage. Don't alt him. We still lost that. Still lost what? Um, we, it looked like we were coming back from that. Game fight unit. Who's we? <laughs> you and your team? The game we can't see? She flashed. Uh, but she's gonna tumble against them. Oh. Yeah, don't do that. Oh, well. I don't have ulti. Rally to me. But it looked like my, it looked like we were coming back. Oh good. Oh well. me. GG's. GG, yeah. Tough game. Happens to the best of us. <laughs> what rank are you now, little Takash? Um silver one, like twenty OP. Your, what's your losses and gains? How much LP did Riot greedily steal from <laughs> that game? Um, like 19 LP. Wow. How much do you usually gain? 12. That's not pretty really good. Like in the, during the season before it ended, I was gaining like 17 LP. And it was like kind of the reverse. I'm not what's really happening now? Petition, I kind and of... now it's like backwards. Now I'm like. Preseason now it's like all backwards. I'm more of a businessman at the business store, so I don't really know. <laughs> I do think. First, I looked into this a little bit. <laughs> I, I don't think this is a real thing. What my business store? Yeah, I googled it. It's kind of empty. I think you might be lying. How? How did she live? There's at least 4.8 stars on this refuse, and I'm pretty sure they. Great. What the fuck? We got Ak Ak Akali, uh... It's okay. Final. Next game. Well, First, you should become a shoutcaster on League of Legends. You'd be I'm like the new freak. Caster. I am a pretty good coach. Freak retired, thank god. He was a terrible coach. I think, like... You think his throne. My new he's self he's is just, throne. like... If I lose, I'm just like, I'm just going up to the next game. Not even. I'm not a, I'm not a good caster. I'm not, not a, even going to talk about that other game. It's like, I'm just going to go to the next game, the next game. No one here believes that. I'm not a good caster. I'm a good coach. I'm a good manager. Who's this? But I'm not a good Top. Oh, I can't top. But this team wants to pick mid. He wants me to like swap top so he can go mid. You want to join their party? I, I can't talk. I think you should be in their party, and that's the only way this works. Alright, I guess. I'll swap. Top lane. Wait until this 
here. Oh, I'm dead. It's the one person on their team I can't fight. They overstay. I have ghost. Uh, yeah, I see an ankle. It's a good start. Let me do this. You're fucking cheating me. You get flash again. No! He had 30 HP. Um, I'm paired with a team I'm um, in that's uh, gold two, and he's a one one trip team I'm gonna shit on you. No, uh, he's uh, with me. He yeah. swapped from top lane because I guess he can't play top, and he only plays team I'm in. That's interesting. He has like four hundred thousand mastery points, and he's gold two. support. <clears throat> and that, now we might have actually lost. I think the... I didn't get far enough ahead to... This Cassid is just unstoppable now. We can play. Can't win them all. Sometimes you just get an Akali that gets solo killed three times by Cassid. The worst early game champ. The whole League of Legends franchise. Might want to come mid. Okay. Holy shit! <sighs> XP? <laughs> to be fair, I usually don't talk to you. XP so game? Like, I'm just like... Reverse XP game?
we all play a part. All right, streamer friends, I hope I entertained you. Catch y'all soon. Have a great night.